What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Yeah, welcome to this very, very special and spooky Halloween episode of Date Air. Um, in case you can't tell, in case you're listening to us on Spotify instead of watching us on YouTube, um, we have some very special guests with us today. Mm. Um, this is Harish. There's Terrence. These are the guys from Yalabat. Mi- and Ministry of Funny. Ministry yeah, of Funny. Yeah, yeah, Ministry yeah. of Funny. Yeah. 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 You were very it's excited when you were saying Ministry of Funny. So <laughs> yeah, very, very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, for those of you all who don't know who Yalabat is, first of all, don't know what rock you're living under. Um, but just in case, um, I'm going to read your official uh, description of Sure, it. sure, sure. Um, if you feel like it needs to be updated. You yeah, know, okay? sure. The most uncensored conversations about censorable things coming out from the much censored country of Singapore. Hosted by Harish and Terence from the Comedy House Ministry of Funny. Yep, sounds about right. I've never right. heard that before. We've never heard that. No, that's been there since the start. Yeah. But the uh, uncensored yeah. conversations about censorable things. Oh, I've never heard that before. Oh, is it? <laughs> okay, well done. Well done, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a surprise, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we are the first people to read out to you in your own description. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing today? Good, man. Good. Good. Excited. Yeah. All right. Excited to be here. First uh, horror podcast I've been on. Yeah. No you. way. That, that really? can't be true. Yeah, yeah, it is. And then yeah. look yeah. at the look at they went they went out all the way, man. Like yeah, uh, pumpkin. There's a pumpkin in front of us. There's a 3D printed skeleton with candles in his lap. Mm-hmm. This is oh, really setting the mood for Halloween yeah. and this podcast. Man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. we're we're still lit, lah. Like. It's not like we're doing this in the dark or anything. Like. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I like, thought you mean we still lit, like we still like lit, damn like, happening. We're like <laughs> lit. I was I, like, whoa, connecting I, with the young people, I bro. Also mend that as well. But ah. then if I tried to to you know. Make that Fawcett, obvious. Uh. Yeah. Look, I've got a lot of grey hair. Mm. The, the <laughs> worst person yeah. to try and, and do lit in that way. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start from the very beginning. Mm. Okay, well, You guys have been, what, 400 episodes or something there now, right? 400 and 448. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. closing in on 450. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. 448. 448. 448. So I have to ask, why did you guys decide to start Yalabat in the first place? How did it come about? What was your thinking? Why did you want to start this podcast? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we did the first iteration of a podcast, uh, horribly called The Mushroom. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it was a, like, even now looking back, I don't know what the fuck we were thinking. <laughs> uh, for some reason, we thought moth, and we, it's like just mushroom, we're in a room, and it's real funny. So we thought that was a good idea. And then that was a very guest centric. So mm. we just wanted to do, I mean, the whole Joe Rogan kind of thing, like, you know, yeah, sit yeah. across the table, just talk for no limited amount of time and just just have fun. Uh. Yeah. So we did, I think, what, nine episodes? Mm-hmm. And after a while, we realized, like, when you're scheduling guests, and that's why kudos to you all for having us on, guest-centric podcasts are quite hard to do. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it yeah. depends on the people's schedule. And then, like, you, there's always, like, there's no fixed, fixed regular uh, timings, yeah. like, right? Yeah. So then we did nine episodes, and then we paused for a bit. Yeah. Because yeah. of what, the TV show. The TV show that we did, uh, yeah. yeah. So that was the first iteration. And uh, Terence, what happened the second time? Uh, I think after that, but the bigger why of things was that, yeah, we wanted to do something that can be replicated even without a guest. Mm. So we were like, okay, what would be interesting where even if just the two of us talking about things, then actually every, the, 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 we were literally talking about this over lunch, I think, and every lunch we always quarrel about something, like, right? Whether it's like <laughs> the latest news or something that happened in parliament or something international news. Then we're like, yeah, why don't we take this uh, quarrel that we do every <laughs> lunch and then like just record a conversation, put it out there, and then see how people react to it, lah. And so the the I think that the idea was born out of like yala, but you know like you nice. approach every topic from two like angles and just mm. play devil's advocate, lah. Yeah, and also because we were looking at the news and every news topic you read the mainstream media is all one way. Yeah. You read alternative is all the other way. You mm. read the Facebook comments is all, but they all don't really talk to each other. And if you want to have yeah. a conversation on Facebook comments, it's shit, lah, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's why we came up with a name. Lah. Like you can agree, but you can also disagree. Mm. And then because Terrence and I disagree on a lot of things. So we mm. figured, okay, lah, the dynamic is there naturally already. Even though our teammates at that point in time didn't really care about what we were talking over lunch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was only two of us. We asked them, what do you think about this latest policy? 
They'd be like, I just want to eat my chai pong. <laughs> so no, and then yeah, it felt very uncool when you ask me. When yeah. you start trying to talk to people about news, then they're like, why are you even bother about this? Yeah. You know? and especially these younger people. Yeah. Right? And so I think it was also a chip on our shoulder where we were like, we got to make it happen, make it interesting and cool so that people will listen to the current affairs. Uh. And then when we first started the podcast, because we had been doing YouTube videos for quite a while, so we kind of comfortable putting out content outline with mm. comedy, you know. But the first few podcasts, right, we went back to listen to it uh, after a few years. We were very unsure about ourselves. Uh. We were like, yeah. guys, uh, okay, we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to be talking about news, you know, until the, the listeners started telling us, guys, don't be so insecure. Uh, you guys are doing something okay. And then slowly we build from there. I'm sure it's the same yeah. for you guys, uh, right? The, there's this imposter syndrome, yeah. especially oh, yeah. when you first I start. I mean, the, the, the downloads are, are nice. Like you see the number mm-hmm. one, nice, but it doesn't feel real. Yeah. Mm, you yeah. feel disconnected somehow. Like, mm. you sure not people want to listen to that crap. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm spewing, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the crazy thing about this, la, in that yeah. I'm always shocked every time someone comes up to us and says mm. they listen. Then I'm like, Really, man? You listen? Are you sure? You tell mm. me where you listen. Tell me where. <laughs> What's the last episode you listened to? I I literally am asking for a source, you know, because I don't believe that that person actually listens. What kind of fucking interaction is that <laughs> with a fan? Uh? <laughs> you come only, you get interrogated. No, what the? I really do ask. Where do you listen to? Like that, okay, maybe not so. Normally, nasty people say thing, thanks uh, for listening. You know, I really appreciate it. Yeah. You're like, hey, what was the last episode you listened to? Yeah. What was yeah. my opinion? Uh? Can I quiz all? <laughs> so but it stems from that. a place of insecurity. You know, yeah. please. Have See, some understanding. Like, <laughs> it may seem that we are very comfortable, right? But we are also humans. We will feel like insecure. Yeah, like, exactly, it, it seems yeah. like we 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 gotten used to it, but it never it's never easy, la. And yeah. also because of a podcast, it's not like YouTube. Like the downloads or the views are not public, la. You so, can't be seen. Yeah. So when someone looks, it's almost like you're talking into this void, la. Yes. You know, yeah, you put it out there. You people can't comment. Uh, until like you start now posting la, on now, Instagram. Now can now la. But now Spotify, 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 the interact the Q&A, part. La, yeah, 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 that's true, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So, so would you say that, you know, like you, I would say like you try to take a more centrist point of view, like a bit more left and right balanced, uh, very mm. balanced approach to, to, to things that are happening in Singapore. Yeah. Would you say that that is part of your growth? Like, you know, like us millennials, right? Like we, we are seeing the world change so fast and there's mm-hmm. another generation that's behind us already that's, that's also growing up. Like our views start to change yeah. and then we need to vocalize that. Yeah. Then you find podcasts as like a medium. Like, would you say that that has actually affected how you create the content itself? Uh, yes. I think in some way it fits each other. Like uh, mm. because we do a, con- uh, a podcast on current affairs, right? It means mm. we always need to be up to date. Mm. I've never been so up to date on current affairs than I am now because like, we are always just reading. Uh, so then, and because we have to force ourselves to take different opinions, Sometimes on the podcast when I'm taking an opinion or Terence is taking an opinion, even though I agree with him, you like you kind of need to go the other direction. Mm. So yeah. then you try and verbalize something that you disagree with uh, and you just force yourself to, okay, what if... Then you internally also after that, you find yourself like... Uh, or at least I find myself, hey, shit, this is something I didn't think about. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that one mantra we always say is like, we're about entertaining dangerous ideas. Mm. <laughs> like in the, the double entendre, you entertain it in your head. But you also try and make it entertaining, right? Mm. And then dangerous in the sense that you just you go to edge and look what's over there, you know? If you're talking about pedophilia, is there a, you know, a pro, uh, an argument for pedophilia and things like that? You just get your head to that space where you're willing to open it and, and listen to an opinion. Not, then, even, not even 10 minutes into this episode. Yeah, already. nice, nice. Maybe we're talking about <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I, 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 do, I do respect that idea of like, I think you're just bringing the kopitiam yeah. into a studio. Yeah, You know, like these are the kind of shit that we would, we would just talk about, like, but not in front of an, a global audience. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's the thing. Like yeah, yeah, in yeah. this day and age, you cannot have those conversations, right? Yeah. You cannot You cannot talk, you cannot, you cannot have an opinion. So a lot of times when we talk, right, it's almost us just trying to make sense of it ourselves. Mm. Mm. Uh, we don't even like, I know the many podcasts, I don't have an opinion, but by talking it out, I'm forming an opinion. Yeah. Mm. So that's where we are very upfront. Okay, we don't, we are, we are not experts on this policy, but from what we have access to, which is the news, mm. this is what is happening. And then we talk about it. Mm. But, but actually uh. just building on something you asked, like, right? Whether yeah. is it, uh, I was just thinking about it, whether it's just something that comes of age where you start mm. to like, look at things. Yeah, yeah. But actually think about it, Older people are some of the most stubborn with their ideas. Yeah. <laughs> they don't open up or listen to other side. Yeah. Then you can actually also say that of 
even people younger than all of us here. You yes, know? yes, there yes, are young people who are like, okay, I'm very stuck in this. No, way. but it's like it's like when when you're younger, right? You you are more rebellious, mm. and you're like, oh, I'm all about like uh, equality, everything like You fight mm-hmm. everything all the way against yeah. your parents' view. Yeah. But as you get older, you you move towards the other the other the end. Extreme, not yeah. because yeah. not necessarily because it's right or wrong. More yeah. because like you see. Yeah, correct, correct. yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. But but what, yeah, so I agree. So but what I'm saying is that but I also see a lot of old people who go all the way to the other extreme and yes, refuse yeah. to listen to like yeah. the, the both sides. So I don't know if if like just getting older or having more experience necessarily makes you, you know, weigh out things more mm. more mm. Uh, logically. That's so in some way I feel like it's a it's a muscle uh, that you need to train mm. to just open your mind a bit every day every day, you know. You know? Yeah, actually, I never, I never really thought about that. It's yeah. a muscle, bro. It's a workout, bro. Yeah, you, you really out. need to like, uh-huh. you need to read both sides. Yeah, <laughs> both, you must both, read both, both end of yeah. the rabbox. You need to, you need to absorb. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to like just make up yeah. your own beliefs. Huh? Yeah. And how, so mm-hmm. for each topic, right? How much do y'all read for each topic? Because you said like you look at different sources and everything. Yeah. How, many, I, how many sources do y'all look at for? Mm, I know for when doing research, I have this bookmarks folder because I'm a tabs person. Oh yeah, same. it opens seventeen tabs. Oh, it's normal, bro. Okay. Yeah. Normal. So, yeah. so all the that's the starting point for all the places you can find news in Singapore. Did you, did you say normal? Normal. Yeah. They are tabs also. <laughs> eh, hey, tabs tab- night, man. Tab- yeah, I, just, yeah. I just find it that funny. This guy like saying, "I'm so proud." Yeah, I got tabs, tabs. Yeah, 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 normal, yeah, yeah, normal, yeah. normal, normal, bro. Chrome or Safari? Chrome, Chrome. Bro, why you torture your computer <laughs> like that? La? Chrome will kill your computer. Yeah, it slows down like fuck. Safari. You mean Safari is better? Yes. Why? I have like 50 tabs, you know. And it doesn't slow down. Safari mm. is better. How? I, That's why I'm a table because I know my computer. Uh, Safari, you can. Uh, so if my I own computer I, Safari, I'm like, you shut up, you open yeah. another tab. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's Chrome. It's Chrome's fault. Chrome it's will Chrome. use like, like, don't know how much RAM. Yeah, it yeah. slows down. Then you, yeah. the, my computer will start wheezing all. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Wow, young Padawan, you have so much to learn. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I have met you. my sensei. Yeah. <laughs> Terrence, you're a useless table. <laughs> I will say this. I'm so glad he's lecturing somebody else about Chrome instead of me for a change. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, always, he always gives me the looks Chrome. Uh. No, yeah. like it legit that like, I have a pretty powerful See? computer. I own I own like 20 tabs right? then it, the fans spin up already oh <laughs> chrome. shit just chrome only just chrome which is like yeah. yo for the so, podcast sorry, tomorrow chrome, uh, yeah, sorry uh, yeah. I'm gonna try the safari you man. try the safari mm. and let me know yeah but yeah that's that's for me for you your your new sources uh, I mean I, I want to say that we are always reading mm. we are always we become very I think just by habit we just like yeah. really mm. absorb news and like uh, yeah. go I to mean, parliament Go to parliament to go and listen to it ourselves. I never thought that one day I'll be one of those people who go parliament. <laughs> can go on, uh, like you can it's just free. go. In. It's as long as it's, it's open to the public. It's free. I like how you're like free, advertising man. for the parliament is free. No, it's yeah, aircon. Really. It's you like a co-working space, but you cannot bring computer. Bro. You know, yeah. So it's a detox. It's a it's a social. Digital. It's a tech, digital detox. Yeah. Oh, I should. Yeah. I, I, I kind of want to go now. Everybody should go. Everybody you should go, go Universal uh, horror, Halloween horrors. <laughs> Next day you go parliament. Two oh, very different experiences. Wait, wait. wait. So with all the politicians inside. Yes. Yeah. While they're having parliament. It's yeah. a right. It's, it's it's so crazy. I think everybody should go. So where do you see it? Like up. There's oh. a gallery. Oh. Uh, yeah. So you can look at their laptops. Oh. You can see what God. they're working on. Oh. Yeah. Wow. WhatsApp. And you, you, you see close, it's close, it's close enough that you can, I mean, they can also tell who you are if they know you. Mm. Oh my God. So it's like ultimate transparency. Uh. Yes. I never thought that. I, I really never thought that there was yeah, a thing. Not many yeah. people know. Yeah. You Since just when? rock up. You don't even need to apply or anything online. You just go there. No I see. Bring IC. Bring IC. And you, if you want to put stuff in your locker, in the locker, you have to bring three times 20 cent coins. Oh, Specifically. Like, specifically can, no pay, la, no pay. No no pay so you literally, you don't have to make appointments. Or anything. No just rock up. Oh my God, just rock up. Anytime, things, anytime. Right? anytime. You, anytime during the whole parliament, you rock up, you can go sit there, some very nice auntie will guide you to your seat. Then you want to go toilet or you want to like just peace out, you just leave. Uh, anytime. Holy crap. Yeah. And the chairs are comfortable, aircon is there, it's silent. But, but the truth is, you look left, you look right when you're there. Mm. It's retirees, Students and people who probably like uh, don't have much to do during the day, la. Yeah. And so when you're there, also you'll be asking, mm, "Is this the best use of my time, la? You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do Do you all face that situation where like you're about to actually you're supposed to record the day, but after like, uh, yeah, 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 not very keen. I mean, we 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 do have like 
we do, we are creators, I will get tired. Mm. We really don't feel like doing it, but you know, because of the audience, because of the fans, we have to do it. Have yeah, to do like it. Shag, yeah. you say, I do la, do la, do la, do la. Yeah. You, don't, you don't have the mood right now, just do la. But that's yeah. the beauty of podcasts, right? They buy into your personality or something. Yeah. So yeah. even when you have Shag, that becomes a thing. So like, wow, <laughs> wow I'm so tired today because of the weather. <laughs> Literally like last yeah. Friday, we started a podcast. After the whole, what's up everybody? Else? Then I said, Terrence, how's your week? He's like, he's fucking, he said, what? He said, I'm fucking tired. Yeah, and I also was like, I'm also fucking tired. tired. <laughs> 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 but you yeah. just do it. Yeah. Yeah. But your, yours is uh, like, there's comedy elements, ma. So, yeah, correct, so, correct. so people will laugh at it. But for horror, it's like, if imagine we're telling ghost stories, hey, bro, I'm very tired. <laughs> 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 it just kills the vibe, man. Not that's even true, la, that's Not even true. Not kill the vibe. Everybody just assumes he's tired. What's going on? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah and then yeah, you find out, no, he's just tired. Yeah, and, and people will be like, are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. You've got the ghost sitting on my shoulder. Yeah, you sure, you sure you're, you're not possessed or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, for us, it's we get tired is one thing, lah. but for yeah. us, it's not like we're ever going to run out of ghost stories anyway. Mm. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I, I really doubt so. How many ghost stories are there? A lot. A lot. A lot. Like, like Singapore alone. World, yeah, in the world, a lot. Lah. Like, legit mm. a lot. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but I think, uh, the, I think the question should be, how many unique ghost stories are there? Yeah, because mm. ah. that's that's our angle. We try to find something that's you know not one on, on one of those Reddit posts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I think we've got like twenty of the same, some variation lah, but it's more or less the same. Uh, Pulau Tukang story. But then, then every time there's a new platform like uh, dating apps or TikTok and all that, does that exponentially increase the number of ghost stories that you all get? Like, because <laughs> each platform I mean, is a different way of working. You know? Horror stories lah, but not the supernatural kind of horror lah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, horror as in like horror as in here horrific kill, kill just, family kind of. Okay, I'm not that hard. True crime, oh, True crime. Oh, I, true crime stuff. I was just thinking of terrible dates, but yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. But there, as in no like like people using TikTok, then stuff appears on the app and things like that. Oh, you mean like the modern version? Modern of, version, modern like the version, version of the ghost story. Okay. Is it more and more? We we will get to that. Oh, not okay. not really like I I actually that that there was a I forgot the writer's name. There was this writer who wrote a excellent piece about like how the supernatural can transcend through technology. So mm. it wouldn't it be scary if there's a ghost that's haunting Facebook and in oh, your yeah, family yeah, that's yeah, haunting yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow like talking to you or messenger that, but yeah, you just yeah. can't seem to get rid of something like that. that yeah. The whole I- idea of that is scary. But mm. even like like some of the distant relatives are really more scary than that already. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, you mean the WhatsApp group? The WhatsApp group <laughs> you just do what? More scary. You just do what a lot of Singaporeans are doing. Uh. During Chinese year, don't just go out of the country. Uh. Mm, oh. So you won't see them. But Facebook follow you everywhere. Right? <laughs> oh, delete your Facebook. Oh, yeah. um, you, uh, <laughs> uh, well, to be fair, you talk about like new technology and everything. There was that one time where we were on a Discord call with some friends from overseas. Uh, mm. And then there was another voice there. It was super weird. Oh. It was, it? To it was during the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, Everybody locked down. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't on the call. My wife was on the call. So there were seven of us. Yeah. Uh, and I was just playing game, but I can, I can hear because she was on loudspeaker. And then suddenly I heard, hello. Yeah. Like they were just talking, like mid, mid sentence, hello. But yes, like, would not someone just join in? What was the no, term, no. the Zoom bomb or something? Yeah, I no, it's not that. Because it was a, it was a private Discord call. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then it's like, hello. Then my friend was like, what was that? Yeah, all of us did, like, did anyone you? say hello? Nope. No. And I was like, no, 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 no. Then I, I just stopped my game, I was just like, what just happened? Mm-hmm. And they were like, okay, like it's probably nothing. But it, at that point, it was already 2 a.m. Oh. Mm. So, so uh, <laughs> I mean, speaking of scary, right? Uh. A very important question for both of you. Are you guys believers of the supernatural? I would say yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Arish, yes. Terrence? I'm, I'm, I'm a very uh, spiritual person. Uh, but the truth is, I have not touched wood had that kind of encounter before. <laughs> yeah, this would yeah. be a big piece. Be yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. very spiritual. Like, I think that probably this we, we feel things around us and all right, but no. I, I've never experienced it before. You know when you said you're very spiritual, I was thinking, don't, you sound like, like oh, Merc- Mercury is in retrograde. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Spiritual, spiritual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. W- would you say that you are, uh, you, you, you have, you guys have a religion? Or are no. you guys no no I, I don't yeah I was born Hindu okay uh, and now I wouldn't call myself religious ah, okay, yeah, okay but on Singh Pass uh, Hindu yeah yeah yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ah. yeah so so do you, so moving on from there like, do you guys have any encounters that you would like to share like any like anything creepy mm. yeah yeah like that has happened to uh, you? I mean 
uh, the time when we were filming a TV series and we, we talked about like this line, I'm going to choke, I choked the story yeah, to okay. tell. <laughs> Before this, he was like, I'm choking the story. Yeah, I think story it's one yeah. story to tell. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Basically, we were filming a TV series in 2019, right? Called <laughs> She's a Terrorist and I Love Her. Oh, yeah. And one of the key things about that series was we wanted to show the seedier side of Singapore, just capture it on on, uh, on film and everything, like, right? So we really like went to places that in normal day to day life we never go. Mm. Uh, Geylang, okay. uh, Siam Tiu in Geylang with you know cockroaches everywhere, that kind mm. of thing. Uh, went to one of those really old Geylang hotels, you know, to film. And uh, yeah, we were just generally told these places are have been there for very long and, mm. and they're very old and things happen. La. And a lot of times we were filming late into the night, like midnight. Then I remember there was one particular shot in I think episode three or four or something. Mm where basically we got this couple of guys uh, who were playing loan sharks. Would, they would grab the uncle working behind the counter at the hotel mm. and drag him over the counter to beat him up. La. And so I think at that point, it was like m- near midnight already mm. and I was just directing all that. Then um, I think I was just watching on the monitor while everyone was like in the in the space, la, which was very small. Then uh, we said, okay, and action. Then the oh, loan sharks came in, they grabbed the guy, dragged him over the counter. And then because you know, like this is a old guy who they were yeah. dragging over the counter, so I was damn worried that he'll get hurt, you know. So <laughs> I was like, okay guys, you're gonna make sure that 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 you know you help to push him from behind, you know, mm. like so someone go behind and, and push him, then oh, and then say, Okay, let's do it, let's do it. They did a few takes. Then one of the takes, like they grabbed him, they dragged him over, and I was like, Oh, it's a good take. But just at the end, I was watching the monitor, I saw like someone's head pop up like, from like pushing him over, and I was like, oh fuck, they ruined the shot. And I was like, okay, cut, cut. That, guys, that was great. But uh, whoever's head was behind the counter, we, uh, it came out during the shot. Uh. Then I think uh, the script sub was, came in like, there was nobody behind the counter. Ooh. Oh. And then we like, no. I, then I said, I definitely saw somebody. Uh. So we went back and watched the footage. And there really was like a black head like, with, of hair that came up, Ooh. pushing the guy over. And then he, and then, and then we, we have it on, on tape. Uh. So um, that actually was like, it sent chills down everyone's spine at like midnight and you know, everyone's tired, but also fucking scared. Uh, then after that, what, what did we do? We did more forensic analysis of the, yeah. of the footage. <laughs> like, right? yeah. We did a, a comparison of like, wow, is it really a hit? And we slowed down everything. Then we realized, oh, it was the, the actor's shoe. Oh, <laughs> it just happened to like had come out of this angle where it looked like and he was wearing a black crocs or something and it came out looking like a black a boy's black head like popping up la. that was a nice twist yeah, uh, so it was, yeah. uh, it was like everyone's relieved but at the same time it was like you know I mean it's Geylang you know midnight that kind of thing so we had it had the feels la. yeah yeah, I had to feel, and all of us were around the monitor, like, "Hey, looking, looking!" But yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't remember who discovered it. But yeah. when we were like, "Ah, yeah, yeah," you know. No, it was, it was yeah. like that because I called, uh. "Hey, someone's someone's head was behind the counter," yeah. and then they're like, "There was nobody." Yeah, mm. yeah. so yeah, so, yeah like. so that was uh, a near miss, like. Yeah, again, I never encountered it. That's what they were so yeah. excited. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I kind of saw like a twist coming away because of his like, smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's way too calm. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. like, like. Uh, when when you guys were making and you guys make a lot of TV shows, right? Like, mm. uh, when you guys film you, your your play, right? I mean, your the production team, like Normally, it's a mm. because I'm also from the same industry, right? So normally, the team would like organize like some sort of prayer or like they pray at the location or something. Actually, no. For wow. for when we when we did ours and the, the yeah. stuff that we've done, we never. Wow, Karangs, yeah. <laughs> some of your film until so late there. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, late and there's it's a lot of blood and quite gruesome scenes and all that. But wait, yeah. did you have any horror horror stories to uh, tell? God, uh, but long time ago lah. Uh, okay, got time no. to share. Of course, oh, of course, God, we got a lot of time, yeah. No, I mean, if you want to focus on Terrence, go ahead lah, Terrence. <laughs> <laughs> Take the whole mic lah, Terrence. <laughs> Relax uh, uh, It's a question for the both of us. Yeah. So you were involved there, but hello, you were EP, actor, <laughs> writer, everything. Yeah, but so my story comes from when I was younger, like teenage days, hmm. uh, around f- 14. So there was a hockey trip we took uh, abroad to one hotel in Seremban. Then I don't know if I told you this. Does this sound familiar? Familiar. Yeah. Familiar. So it was uh, just the the young like 14, 15 year olds all went up. Then I was sharing a room with three three people, uh, four guys la. So then our room was all the way at the end of the corridor. So one day we were just chilling and all. Then suddenly like my two friends started speaking Chinese. Yeah. Then at first I was thinking, oh. Uh, 
why uh? then I was telling hey guys what, what are you all saying so then they said oh um, maybe we just go hang out at another friend's room la. so I was like hey but we all just you know had dinner showered and all just chill here so in the end they said okay okay never mind we go so they they left and then I followed them la. then after that they told me the reason why they were speaking in Chinese because they didn't want me to freak out then I was like well why not then they said because when I was sitting at the corner of the bed there were, one of them saw a big shadow against the wall la. Uh, which he had seen early, like 30 minutes before w- when he was showering, he heard a knock, knock on the door and he was alone. So then he opened the door, he looked down the corridor and he saw the shadow coming. So then after that, he went back and then we came back to the room. But then after that, he said that he saw the shadow behind me. La. So then we, all the whole guys team spent the night in one of their rooms. And I was telling that, because they also told me to go and take the pillow mm. near Ask next to the shadow. Fuckers know they all. So then after that, I told them, you saw the shadow and you asked me to go and take the pillow right next to them. They said, yeah, we're going to go sleep. Boy. We need the pillows. So that was how it ended. No twist or anything. But that was my only instance, I think. Where but maybe maybe they were just uh, saying something racist and then they just wanted to throw you off. Now when I look back with the racial <laughs> saying, lens, oh, yeah. I was thinking, wow, oh, those fuckers. Yeah. Uh, they're they're like, wanted. oh yeah, it's because there's a ghost. That's yeah, why yeah, the shadow, oh shadow. <laughs> shadow. Yeah, I'm like, glad you said that. Literally, <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, that's, wow. That, that, that's that, that, that's <laughs> them bastards. Yeah, yeah. them bastards. Oh, yeah. Next time if I speak Chinese, I move like, Harish, you don't want to know. Yeah, I never asked them what were you saying, what were you saying. I just trusted them. So that's my only brush lah. Yeah. That was like oh, a long time ago, man. But I mean, uh, you've had un- uncanny uh, coincidences before. Like, like, because no, I've had that kind that of thing. Can, like, like what? Like, uh, like uh, I think last time in school, there was like this, uh, there was this accident in school and and, mm. and, and, and some students died and things this like that. This is your story? Yeah, yeah. Oh. But I, I won't go too much in real life because yeah. it's, it's, it's uh, from very long past. But yeah, lah. I think like then I remember that morning in school when they were announcing, you know, all these things that happened. Uh, it just in the assembly, like 7.20 a.m., it just started to to drizzle. Like, rain. Oh, yeah. And it rained like for like two minutes just for the instance that they were announcing this thing. It. Then it just stopped, yeah. And everyone, I mean, at the point, everyone was very shaken because of what, have, what happened in school. But but it was just like, oh, what the heck is that? So it was momentary enough that you all didn't like go into yeah, you shelter. Know, assembly is yeah, like yeah, outdoors. Yeah, outdoors. This is, this is uh, in, in, in JC. JC, JC yeah, yeah. It's outdoors assembly and that kind of thing. Mm. So, I mean, not scary, la, but it was like, wow, what was that? And like? everyone was yeah. talking about it after that. Everyone like, was talking about it. Yeah. Like the rain was just Ooh. too like sudden, right? Yeah, just like yeah. Two, in two minutes, sunny, suddenly it started to rain, that kind of thing. La. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But again, it could be coincidence, lah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you know the weather forcast wrong. Most probably, eh? a bit yeah. of a yeah. coincidence. Yeah, seeding for NDP or something. <laughs> yeah. uh. But but do you, all, do you all approach every story with a like a, a, a aim to like think about what is the possible logical reasoning behind it? Do you guys watch uh, BuzzFeed Unsolved and Ghost Files? No. Uh, Ryan oh, and Shane. Puts, yeah, I've seen clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I uh, we always like liken him to be Ryan and I'm Shane. No, I thought I was Shane. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shane is the oh, right. non-believer. Shane's the non-believer. Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm, I'm, irony, irony is like fifty percent of the ghost stories are from me, right? But at the same time, I'm very skeptical. I'm oh. super skeptic. Like touch wood, until there's an entity that boom right into my face and tell me I'm an entity and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a ghost lah. Like, I won't believe. So you haven't. I, I, I have seen stuff, but very far away. Far so away. I, st- I still like, like to bigfoot, bigfoot. Like yeah, like, human, like yeah. maybe. The closest I've seen is about 10 meters. Seen what? Like ghosts. Ah. But like what? Like uh like an actual apparition, like oh, apparitions, yeah. yeah. So you are a believer, la. I'm You're a believer, a but believer. At a, at very skeptical. It's like I'm like, yeah, 99% is probably trick of them. Like but because there is no evidence, right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. if you see like evidence, right, it's usually those shitty cameras. Bro, we live in the world right now where there's 8K cameras. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, it's, it's bullshit. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's bullshit that we have not captured anything or maybe Men in Black is just hiding it. I don't know. Uh. No, and the other thing is like, I don't know about you all, uh, but now I, a bit of Lao Hua Yen, like my yeah, eyesight yeah. going. Hey, what, wait, what, what, what's great? <laughs> yeah, 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 you, you know, long, long sight. Like, same thing in school last hey, time. Hey, uh. You don't know, you don't uh, know, uh, Harish, you don't know. That's just sit there. What shadow behind it? What shadow is it? <laughs> no, but but you, I mean, I, the the really the physical aspect yeah, yeah, of your yeah, mind and yeah, all that yeah. really can affect things you see, right? So yeah, yeah. That, that's why it's like uh, as you get older, you also like it's, mm. it's the state mm. la, Like maybe you're tired, right? Mm. And 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 yeah. I do believe that you know on film sets where everybody's overworked, yeah, mm, very yeah. tired. Yeah. There's, there's a timeline. Like, everybody's like, like that, stressed, right? Yeah. Yeah. You start seeing things that are not there, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, there. I mean, to add on to your your earlier 
ghost story. Yeah. <laughs> there were instances <laughs> on film sets that, that really make me question uh, like what? Wow. So for example, right? Uh, like I think there was a shoot that I was on. Uh, then everybody said that, hey, this place, uh, don't play around. Don't mm. scope vulgarities. Don't mention anything horror. Yeah. Okay? Then the gaffer, right? Went to loud mouth, said something. I uh, no such thing as ghost on Harbis. Mm. The moment we take out the V-mount batteries to put on the Cine camera, you know V-mount is very big, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fully charged, you know. Put, cannot run. Camera cannot run. Change. Mm -hmm. Change to another V-mount, put, camera cannot run. Then we were like... <laughs> then the producer, the producer is very experienced. The producer is like, okay, you give me five minutes. Then I don't know what the producer go do. Uh. Then after that, uh, I think the two batteries, they put it to charge, then we brought the third one, put, then camera can run. Wow. Fully charged. Then so, what did, the, did you ask the producer what? what? Yeah, you should go and pray. She goes, she should go to the back and pray to whatever's there. Like, say we don't, you no. know, we don't, yeah. I thought she, she called the camera rental company and scold them. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> but that would be, be quite a real That's producer. Exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but for, the funny thing is that I was with the production team because I worked okay. with the production team quite uh, close. So I saw the batteries being charged. Oh, okay, okay. So, so, so they're full, they're full. They were full. Yeah, yeah. So it's either like they damn sway, like the two batteries just died instantly yeah. or like, I don't know, like weird stuff happened, mm. which, which is, Quite quite strange, mm. la, right? But anyway, we we yeah la, So basically, he he will be a little bit more, I would say, respectful. In just, terms. just say I'm the coward. No uh, la. Just say I'm the coward. <laughs> every, every time I talk about this, I say just say I'm the coward. Just say I'm the coward. <laughs> no, when we when we first started doing this, so he would film at like creepy locations. Oh yeah. Oh. So for the YouTube version of Ghost Maps, there's always very very nicely shot creepy visuals um. and when we started he will always ask me every time hey I'm gonna go shoot tonight you wanna join me or not and I go no have fun yeah. mm. you know take care um, I, I, I'm very happy for what you do you are invaluable to what is becoming ghost maps I'm not joining you <laughs> <laughs> I think it was after like the first 10 episodes he's like you know what forget it lah. I'm not gonna ask him anymore mm. you don't want uh. to court the, the possibility oh yeah no, no 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 I, I'm I guess the nicer way to say it is overly cautious. Yeah. Mm. Coward is the actual term, but overly cautious. Well, overly cautious, la, overly yeah. cautious. La. Overly cautious. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> overly cautious. La. I I also scared wa. Like I, I I go to this kind of place, I wear, I wear protection, la. like you know, I'll bring like an amulet or something. Uh, mm -hmm. I, 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 but you yeah. still feel scared, la, is it? I mean if you put me in the like in Ochan Hospital, you put me in, I'll be scared. But if you ask me, okay, you just go outside and shoot, I think I should be fine. Yeah. To me it's just a job, ma, like I need to get the visuals. Unless uh -huh. I start seeing something like woo, and yeah, then run. Uh. Mm, mm. <laughs> I mean, it's it. We did not go into Changi Hospital, but mm. we went near Changi, old Changi Hospital. In the day, in the in day, the day for, in the day okay, okay. for um uh, for, for for project lah, yeah, for, for project, project yeah, yeah, set maker. So we went, we walked close by, and it's like late afternoon, mm. so not bright sun or anything like that, but you know. Still, but got the feels, there's, right? There's light. Yeah, good. Yeah. And not even going in, we just get to the gate. I'm like, mm, this is really yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but those, those feels are real. Uh. Like, I remember like going to like Phnom Penh, you know, Kilom yeah. Fields and things oh, like that. Yeah. It's really, yeah. You but feel the one this, is like, wow, well, wow. This. Uh, it's really, yeah. yeah. It's like you're seeing like, you know, dry the skulls, blood stains. Right? Yeah, skulls. Did you so, see the skulls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, you really wow. feel. Something there's we death, go there. There's yeah. just yeah. death which, which some people have told me uh, that even when they walk around Dempsey and all that, they mm. feel this. And I'm like, dude, Dempsey is like, I bring my kid there to go and play every week, <laughs> eat brunch, eat eggs, sunny nice. side up. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Happening, yeah, this, guy, guy. <laughs> says, eh, this guy. <laughs> like, this is where people die. I, I bring my kid, go eat sunny side up, bro. It's like 2023, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's like, even if you don't believe in this kind of stuff, these kind of places have a weight to them from mm. the yeah. history. La. Just the history. Right? Yeah, so you just get uncomfortable being in places like that. Mm. Is yeah. Changi Hospital still there? Yeah, no, it's still is, there. Is, is yeah. it the hotel? To hotel? No, 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 the hotel gone, bro. Gone, That's what oh. I thought. It's, it's not replaced by hotel. It's the one of the unit, the one of the- Wings. Uh. Yeah. Not wings. It's it? like just a standalone uh, building. Uh. I think it was like a commando uh, barracks. So Changi yeah. Hospital is still there? Yeah. yeah, it's still there. Is it a protected site or what? It is. Yeah, it's all fenced oh, up. No. I, I, I'm not sure if they uh. have UNESCO it or not. I don't think UNESCO? So. Seriously? I, 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 I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't it's see- It's got quite the history. It's got quite the history. Yeah, like he said, it's got Quite the history, is, yeah, yeah. So like, as as you were saying, right? Like, uh, the, the client was Ang mm. <laughs> from London, yeah. and even he was like, "Yeah, let's not go at night. 
Mm. Yeah. And then even he is like, yeah, my wife told me I need to go home and do like floral shower. Wait, what's he filming? What, 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 why is okay, so we were doing like a audio experience. So yeah. we do ghost map stories oh, okay. that is based around there. So you're supposed to take an audio tour like while oh, listening shit. at night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my so God. The G- we were mapping the GPS. Then uh-huh. it will end at Old Changi Hospital, out just outside because you cannot go in, it's illegal. Okay. But you can go all the way up the hill outside. Yeah. So that up the hill is already very scary already. Mm. Then you're facing that, that it ends there. Then even he was like, yeah, yeah, let's not go at night. Then I chill him, I say, hey, let's go lah. We go at night. We go, I go, I can shoot some vlog and help you promote your website one. Then he said, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. Oh no. my God. Even hearing it is like, because when I was young, right? I used to be damn scared of the dark. No? Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I like, oh, yeah. I will turn off the toilet. Uh, then run, right? Then run, yeah. yeah run same the <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, yeah. Was just, so just hearing that about Changi Hospital. Because I think I've, I, I, once I think from, the, you, from the main road, if you look up, you can kind of see it. Have you, have oh, you yeah. been there? Yeah. I think around it. Oh, it's no. Chalet. La, chalet. Yeah, 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 correct. I think Chalet, <laughs> go and walk, walk, walk. No, the Chalet is also Kilats, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 the Chalet also Rabak. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. You Have you been there? I've been there, yeah. yeah You've been inside, been, right? Yeah, I've been inside. Early to youth. Wait, you've been long inside the Chalet Hospital? Yeah. Long time inside? ago. Every time yeah. we say ago. people have been inside, must say long, long time, time ago, ago when yeah. we were kids, kids. and oh teenagers shit, and it stupid. Do you know yeah. can go inside? No, but now you can, you try going inside, you go jail, bro. Cannot, <laughs> you but, but back then, even back then, like I was like, wow, Chang was going. Yeah. No, but but there were so many people in there that yeah. it was almost like going to Zook, like yeah. Yeah. Field, yeah. It was a cool thing. It's like nightclub really. It was a lot of people. Yeah, how long ago was that? How long ago? I mean, when in my youth, not definitely not anytime recent. But secondary school or something? Uh, no, later a bit later. Two thousands, ah, two thousands. Oh my they God. didn't fancy it up. Elite. They yeah. didn't fancy it up in the 2000s. You but then if you go there, go other people, isn't it even scarier? No, no. it's a big group. But how many, how many people like, were there? Like, I, mean, I, I went to four or five, then there's other groups of five or six, and then mm. everyone's like making noises and all that. Yeah. It's not scary. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a, there were people who play, you know, uh, block catching there. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean, we, when I went there, my very first time I went there, it was like, there was 10 people. Oh shit. So I was in the middle. I, I was the hum chicken. I was in the middle. Then I was I felt protected. Then we went there, we saw another group of people. Uh, but if there's no one there, it'll be scary as shit. Be, but we did go to the mortuary. Uh, what wow, that one mortuary. Yeah, wow. yeah, they had, the, the, the mortuary is right beside. It's not in the oh, building. It's, not in the it's building. right beside. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. I think they have torn it down already. Okay. So there was the smell of death in there. It was oh. super weird. Then I got really weird vibes. And then there were like satanic rituals. There oh, was yeah, like the, yeah, yeah. The, the, the ring, right? They yeah, draw yeah. the pentagram, very big pentagram on the floor. There so was you're satan- with torchlights and all, is it? Yeah, no light what? Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. So but not, there will always oh. be one guy like, hey guys, I bring your in. There will always be one guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. usually a Chinese man, I bring yeah. your in. <laughs> hey, Garang only, you know, you know he's scared also. Uh. But now you have become that guy. La. You have become that guy who, who goes. To no, I, I won't do that. So, so uh, we, even though we do horror content, we develop horror IP, right? Like I've always been very clear. And we have always been very yeah. clear. We draw the line where we don't, we are not uh, ghost hunters. Uh, we don't uh, do okay, that. Okay. Maybe we will do like a horror show, like we, yeah. you know, like paranormal show, but we will never be the ones like, oh, we go there and provoke the spirits. Oh. That's just. But it's like, like this, like us going to parliament. I mean, for you, it's like you need to <laughs> yeah, go there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 just sit there and watch. So, so you will talk about politics, but you will never enter politics, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You just go there and watch. Be second floor, not second floor. <laughs> floor. So, you also uh, just go there and just sit and watch. Uh, just, see, see, look, look, <laughs> just to be clear, what you're trying to say is parliament is Old Changi Hospital for you. Wow. <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch. A bit of a stretch. A bit of a stretch. So funny. It's a sight to behold. It's a sight to behold. Okay. So, uh, I, I, I know you guys have a lot of conspiracy theories, right? Like you, you have that team for hat going on. Uh. So let me, let, me, let me ask you this. Singapore being Singapore, right? We use a lot of uh, land and this is obviously a prime location on top of a hill, can see the whole of uh, Changni. Why do you think that the government has not like demolished it? Mm. And wow. it has a very bad name to it. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why, why don't just clean it? Wow. It's a, to be fair, they yeah. are doing something to it. They are making it into an astrology center, oh, but they are oh. not tearing it down. Oh, they're not tearing it down. Yeah. Um, oh. Why do you think they are keeping it? I mean, I, I okay, I don't know why exactly, mm. but I kind of like that they're not tearing it down, now, mm. Right. Yeah. I feel in Singapore we are almost too trigger happy to tear down yeah. places yeah. of historical significance, whether good or bad. Yeah, okay. Because you never know, like, you know, give another 50 years, this kind of place can be a real, like, UNESCO heritage site. Yeah, yeah. Because of the history involved, especially, 
as a young country, we don't have a lot of history. So the fact that a place even has 30, 40, 50 years of history, that's amazing already. Uh. So yeah. I, you know, I don't know why they wouldn't tear it down. There could be some, I mean, we, at the end of the day, we have a lot of religions that coexist in Singapore, right? Mm. But I, I don't see it as a bad thing that they don't tear it down. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Even though the, you know, people are like, oh, scared of it. Or, yeah. I mean, if, if you just ask me off the top of my head, like I haven't researched this or anything, but I mean, let's say if they don't tear it down, because the area around it, there's also not much development. There's a lot of black and white houses there. Yeah, and all, right? yeah, yeah. And, then, yeah and then I was thinking like, okay, it's on a hill. Is at Changi. You know how we, you know like how you hear the certain parts of East Coast, uh, East Coast uh, Expressway, the middle part can be removed for like the planes to land and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. So maybe like the hospital, right, got underground firearms. No? Mm. So maybe if there's like, Oncoming people coming to the shore, right? One button, the pentagram, all this shit comes out, right? <laughs> because it'll be a good, it'll be a good vantage point, what, right? Mm. So maybe they're like, let's not tear this down. Who knows? If shit hits the fan, we have a solid base there to just keep an eye out, You know, mm. that 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 is the uh, there is a conspiracy theory to add to your point, right? Mm. That there are uh, underground bunkers built mm. underneath Old Changi Hospital. Mm. Uh. Yeah, and they have since been sealed. Some people have actually been in there. Is it? They don't know how deep it is, uh, but because it was built by the, the British, yeah. so it was it was actually a, a, an army base before yeah. before like an oh. army hospital. So it was built around the whole Changni settlement. La. So it's all like uh, army installations. So mm. they had like, yeah, I, I don't know oh. how deep it is. Yeah. So that is. And I mean, what better way to keep people away than to have this exactly. hospital? Exactly. Mm. So your point of view is more of like, Military defense. Military la. La. But maybe there's something under the hill. Maybe like, you know, the men in black, you know? <laughs> uh, men in white are in parliament, men in black are under, <laughs> under Changi. <laughs> there's the, isn't there, there's underground bunkers, all right, where Singapore oh, keeps yeah, yeah, yeah. stashes yeah. of like those, a resort of food. huge ass ones. The do, we, do we even know where they are? We no, don't no, know, right? No, Nobody no, knows, no. right? Yeah. No, what's inside? What's inside? Oh, food. fuel. Oh, food. Food and mask. Like mask. Remember they stopped no, out the, and everything. <laughs> didn't like see any did a piece. You just caverns, you know? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like that's that, the right? petroleum. Oh, that's oh, the petroleum. They, yeah. That's the Jurong oh, Island. No, there's another one. Oh, food one. Oh, yeah. Food, food, food one right. also has. Oh, yeah. also, also cannot. But review. you don't know where is it? Yeah. It's tunnels. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. He's gonna play on that joke uh, for like the whole Oscar, night, man. You speak Chinese? No. Oh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, you know, it's worth making fun of us. <laughs> don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't ask. Uh, one mother tongue you speak, one mother tongue you speak. I barely speak Malay. Ah, say, my Malay is them shit also. Oh, yeah. Uh, Auntie, Fa- uh. I've been failing since primary two. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is so proud of me. But, but that means, uh, sorry, just to, to just carry on what you're saying, asking. So when you, now when you go to like, those haunted house or that is it like uh, so lame for oh, you me? mean the entertainment one yeah, yeah. yeah entertainment ones cause like, it, because it sounds like you were the guy like in the middle of the circle last time mm. but when you go haunted house now are you still that guy in the middle of the circle or you you enjoy the process or what uh, it's very hard la. it's very hard right to enjoy yeah. I know you won't go horror house la, not yeah. horror house but yeah. like okay even horror movies or so it's uh. yeah it becomes I mean it's it depends on the horror movie or so yeah. most of it now it's not as scary as, but I feel like that also happens with age. Yeah. Mm, like mm. when yeah, I was yeah. a kid, I was terrified of the Exorcist. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, again, like I, I know a few people know this, but my brother made me watch the Exorcist when I was six, mm. and then told me it was like Terminator. Mm. So it kind of screwed up my my <laughs> barometer in terms of horror. But as I get older, and I think it comes with age. I think it comes with I'm a less religious person mm. than I was when I was a kid as well. So that kind of plays into it. But now. I think it's worse just because if we're creating horror content, I'm almost looking at this from the eye of, okay, what would I do different? Yeah. Like, mm. how would I change the story? How would I make it scarier and stuff like that? Oh. So it does it does affect it. I If it's a really good horror show, I can still appreciate it. No, so you're saying that you don't watch it because you don't want to be influenced by it. Yeah. So you want to remain, mm. keep an original, yeah. original thing when, on it. When I do watch it, it's usually like, if we've got like a few episodes done already, then I'll just give myself a break and watch a whole bunch of horror shows. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah. most of the time I steer clear and it's less, it's scary. It's more, it's, I don't want that to influence me. Mm. Oh. But yeah, it, it, even when I'm watching it, so I'm like, mm, I'll do this differently. I'll do that differently. So that means you are like a cautious believer and you like watching horror movies. I, 
enjoy horror movies. I think more so now. He, I, I told him this before. Before we started working on Ghost Maps, I maybe see like one horror movie every two years. Mm. Mm. Um, but <coughs> just because of what we do, I've taken a bit more of an interest in it. Uh. Yeah. So I mm. cautious is the wrong word. Like, you know, it, it's still, a good one can still scare me. Mm. But I find that a lot of horror movies nowadays, they, they will scare me within the moment, but it never stays with me. Oh. Like when I was a kid, The Exorcist would haunt me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like for I couldn't watch it again for years because I was like, nope, nope. Mm. Nowadays mm. I'll be like, mm, okay. I, I, I mean, I I've, I get that sense also, but yeah. mine's maybe more because it's a job hazard of what yeah. we do as yeah, exactly. creators, right? So yeah. Yeah. like The Ring, I remember when I watched it when I was young, I was then yeah. it's wow, I'll never watch again. But recently, I, I recently like just opened it up to watch it, and I'm like. I'm just admiring all oh, the framing of this shot quite interesting. Oh, they yeah. cut here, the edit here was very yeah, nice. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the makeup yeah. very good. So I, I really don't feel that, that sense of dread from yeah. watching horror. I, I so still much. wouldn't watch, you know, like the but, but you but you don't even try, right? That's the thing. Maybe that's, yeah, it's like I'm phobias like, oh, like that. Fuck, yeah, it's like, it's like if you got phobia, you don't try, you will never overcome it or so, right? But you then know? what what is the point of overcoming? No, just to see how <laughs> they framed it, how they tell the story. I can see a picture of the frame. I don't need to oh, watch no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> then the, people say that about our content, how I can see a picture. The friend don't even watch then what we then no watch <laughs> okay Wait, fine okay so so you are obviously scared of horror right, right? yeah I, I, I don't like horror movies okay what it's, about like shows like get out or get out yeah it's but it's not it's ghost. not supernatural okay, horror so you don't like supernatural co- supernatural okay, consistent get supernatural I'm, horror I'm trying to, it was, su- there is su- supernatural elements in get out we're going supernatural no, get out don't have like the don't. hypnosis all this that's not supernatural but falling in water that's, that's a dream dude <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. okay. So, no but supernatural yeah uh, so slasher ghost, ah, yeah. slasher would be like scream Texas Chain yeah, yeah. Uh, that one I think okay la. I, it's not my top choice of genre but I can watch it zombie zombie okay don't be okay. Nah, so it's only the ghost stuff, like super only, only yeah. the like woo, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I remember like I think when I was younger, I used to watch like the ring with friends, and I fucking hated it. The turning point was Dark Water. Oh my favorite. <laughs> wow, love it. I love that. Fuck that shit, <laughs> man. Stupid, right? That scene in the elevator where yeah. I turn around, got a little kid there. After that, I was like, you know what? Why am I torturing myself watching these movies? And then after that, I just just the, the one, that one that that movie, I love it. It's so good, but it has no logic. Mm. Yeah, the no, moment no. I step into an elevator like that, like then I go out and my apartment like that, I, I go home already. I tell I, 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 I was yeah. saying in 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. It, it freaked the shit out of me. Like, freaked the shit. So after that, I was like, you know what? There are a lot of other movies to watch. Uh. Maybe you should try something like Mao, like Chucky. Mm. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe Chucky got some energy. He's yeah, a spirit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really Let's like stretch it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But Sixth Sense, that kind well, of Sixth Sense, I like. Yeah. Supernatural. But... I don't know. It's different, eh? Good story. Me soma, me soma, huh? soma. I haven't seen that. Oh, you, you try me soma. You, you, have you seen oh, you know. one oh, guy you know. He no, just I, said he won't watch horror. No, I like Pima. No, but me no, soma is Pima. like Pima. You know Pima, yeah. the Thai movie. Yeah. But that's like a joke. That's like a comedy <laughs> horror. Shutter, shutter, like shutter they can, you cannot lie. Shutter, he cannot lie. Shutter, I don't think I can. Actually, horror, I don't yeah. know. I've never, like what Terrence said, that's I've never, thing, never tried. tried. You never tried. Try. It's like the guy who got phobia of snakes. Then every day they have to show him a picture of a snake. Then after that, let him touch Show him picture of Eventually, he love it. Yeah, he'll love it. You know? Yeah, but then for even Good that guy, maybe it. maybe he wants to get over, like what? how is watching horror movies going to make a difference? It's like, you know, like last time when I was young, I used to be a lot of spicy food. Mm. And after a while, I realized every time I eat spicy food, my stomach hurts and my poop burns. Mm. Then I'm like, why am I putting myself through this torture? It's the dynamic range of emotions you want to experience, right? I like you know like spicy food <laughs> is here, but then you choose not to. Then you only experience this much of life. No, but then sometimes the food's so spicy, you cannot even taste the food. I love, that's extreme. Like, yeah, yeah, to yeah, me, yeah. that is pointless. So I rather enjoy the food, enjoy the post-food process, mm. uh, the post-poop after the food process. Mm. So yeah, so then I'm like, okay, that's spicy food. I told okay, you, like to, you like to stay within that. that yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now this, 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 this is what, <laughs> he takes one thing about one aspect of my life and just paints it across the whole, I, the whole spectrum. Yeah, but, but, but horror, horror <laughs> is, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it reflects a lot of like your human fears, yeah. your worst fears, mm. the worst parts of humanity yeah. back to you. And like, and, and yeah, you really have to, to think about things. Like I never, realized it until I watched The Ring as an adult, as a parent or that, yeah. mm. that there's so much about like, um, they, they really talk about how you bring up a child and like yeah. what's your responsibility to your parents, you know? So you and watched like, it recently, is it? Yeah, I watched it recently. I just sat there and just like, oh, I'll, I'll just try to understand the story better and what the was motivation was in writing a story like that. And I realized, yeah, it's about that, that parent-child uh, relationship by like how 
different types of relationships. Um, even her own relationship with her dad affected mm. everything, you know. So it was, I mean, it was a great story, lah. But but that's where I like maybe a bit of a job hazard where you don't enjoy the horror content as much. It, you uh. you won't see it like a, I I I'm, I think he still has it. Like mm, as a viewer, yeah. you you but still get shocked by it. That's beautiful. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, fun that's beautiful. Part, yeah. But mm. for us, right, we have lost that thing mm. already. Even for normal films, You're so like, desensitized already. Yeah, 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 even for normal films, I start analyzing it. Mm. Or the mm. shot is like this. Also, oh, your normal films also you find yourself you hard enjoy it like, because I, I I'm in the film industry, so uh. so we will start seeing. Oh, this is in the L cut. Uh, this is how they play the sound. This is like this is mm. a writing technique. He's setting up for the overshadow later. But you don't yeah. find that adds to the enjoyment because I find for like non horror stuff yeah. that. I, I like movies no, more bro, watching it. No, bro, I feel it. like it really takes me out of the enjoyment. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, well, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's how much you consume or so. Because like, yeah. I, I used to do movie reviews um, for a magazine. So I w- there was stretches of time where every weeknight, I would have to go watch a movie. Mm. Uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Shooks, yeah. It, it, that's the thing. It sounds like a great thing in yeah, its yeah. concept where, you know, oh, every night I'm paid to go watch a movie and I write about it. But then after a while, because you're looking at it with like an analytical eye, mm. it takes some enjoyment out of it. Mm. Because it's that's the only thing you're watching it for. Mm. It becomes less about watching the movie and more about oh okay, gotta write his review. Mm. Mm. And but I realize that if 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 you're if you're looking at it less analytically, yeah. I guess sometimes yeah. if you have to write a yeah. review is very analytical. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So maybe that's where I've reached with like true crime documentary. At one point, I was like consuming a lot, mm. and now I'm like, oh fuck, real life is so shitty. Like yeah. around the world every day, you cannot escape. Uh. You read news is like true crime everywhere. Yeah. Then what for? I go and watch, spend an hour and a half watching a documentary that will make me feel depressed. Uh. Yeah, uh, that's what I feel. Uh. That's that's how where I am. With, no, that's with, that, mm. there's a term for it. It's called emo- emotional privilege. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> just add it on to the, New level. the no, list no, no, of no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's basically like your life is so good mm. yeah. you don't see dark shit mm. that's why you need dark shit yeah, uh, okay. yeah like yeah, for yeah, example yeah. like uh, like I've seen like you know like crime scenes that I've seen yeah. like, like you know real track crime scenes yeah like people jumping down oh, that kind okay. of thing I've seen what's left right I've seen quite a few unfortunately what come like, I mean just sway just walk past and pump that, that kind of thing what what you, I thought f- you go and like to film no something no la, la. like you know secondary school sometimes okay. it just happens la, like unfortunately so I've seen quite a few so I can't watch body horror for the longest time body but my, horror yeah body it? horror like gore and oh, stuff like, oh, like, okay. you know the show uh, Wretch uh, Wretch Wretch Ratchet. Ratchet. Ratchet, yeah, Ratchet. So it's like full on body horror. Like oh. They show the lombotomy process. Oh like, my but God. Film lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I, when I watched that while eating lunch, I almost puked. But my wife can go on. But then she has not seen a real dead body before. Like, like, like that kind of things are. So, well, so she's painting, like, oh, so I have- Your wife has a very- No, no, no. Uh, so, unique so, kind of person. No, so she's like, babe, I have found out, I have found out uh, what, what is it, why I can do that? Because I have emotional privilege. Ah, she, she, has, you, she, she, has. she has it. I don't have it. So it's the same thing as like a true crime reporter will never listen to true crime. I think lah. Uh, I mm. think yeah. I, I've known I've known people who work the crime beat for newspapers, and it just it wears them down very quickly. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. So mm. listening to true crime for them, they will just be numb to it. Uh, yeah. There's no entertainment value yeah. to but them. But like yeah. what he was saying as well, like it's it's why people go on roller coasters. Mm. It's the same reason why people watch horror movies because like mm. my life okay, but I yeah. need something mm. to like make me frightened. Yeah, yeah. 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 so I'll go mm. look for shit that will frighten me. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So that means people who go for all these horror houses uh, got the emotional privilege. Yeah, right? I, I imagine most of them. I, I, I imagine they and and I mean for on a lighter note uh, I feel like because of my job, uh, because I we create content right, and so analytical right, I have a greater threshold for bad content. Bad content. Oh. So like like you're if forgiving, like, is it? You're more forgiving because I'm a creator. So I know that you know it. it you make mistakes, mm. and and if you, nobody support you, then how would it feel, right? Like you, that if there's nobody supporting these bad films and bad shows, who will support, right? Mm. So you start watching it, then you're like, okay, like actually, I still learn something, lah. Yeah. It's mm. just that the execution then bad, lah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So last time I won't. Last time you know when you're fresh out of film school, you're like, wow. Fuck this film la, lousy la. I only watch Wong Kar Wai la. you mm. know that kind of thing <laughs> mm. I got similar approach where but I only can do that on Friday nights la. 
Like Friday night, if like okay tonight, I'm gonna watch like Crazy Rich Asians. I'll oh be, yeah, I'll switch off that brain a bit. You, then, yeah, you know. so you, you try a dedicated a, you drink. Like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if uh, if, uh, if uh, like for, if it's a Friday night and the wife says let's go out and all that, I'll be like, okay. We'll watch you need whatever. a fun mood, like you yeah, need yeah. a fun mood, like. Yeah. But this guy cannot. This guy cannot. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, oh, he's like no. go out date night and he'd be like, oh, this film was terrible. No, 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 no setup. So, no, so I hated Crazy Rich Asians, <laughs> but but I think I think it is more because. Like uh, the movie received so much hype and acclaim, mm. I'm like, eh, that's mm. that's not fair, mm. Uh I wouldn't say it's because like, oh, I'm a snob and I think it was a bad movie. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. just thought the hype around it was fucking unjustified. Yeah. So I came out, I messaged Terence like, Terence, it was a shit ass recommendation. It was a horrible movie. It doesn't deserve the. And he was I was doing this with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Next to his wife. Yeah. Eating Coming sushi, Friday damn night. angry. Or like, thing, fucking Terrence. Angry. <laughs> but that one, like, I, I mean, I've watched other movies that were shitty that I still liked, but just that one felt like it was like like so amazing and it wasn't. Like. Mm. So like, that was what annoyed me. Like. Mm. Not mm. so much the quality of the show. Like. I love mm. how hard you started laughing the moment you said, snob. <laughs> Straight away, <laughs> back away from the mic, burst yeah. out laughing. It's a running joke, like the crazy rich Asian <laughs> thing, because yeah, I really did come out. Hey, yeah, it's not bad, lah. It's quite fun, yeah, fun yeah, night, fun night. Then like this guy was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> 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 like, yeah, it's just a movie. How it's dare you? <laughs> Go and spend time with your wife, please. Don't be texting me at this hour. <laughs> But, but yeah, so Friday night is more. But but uh. speaking of the like, roller coaster, so really like you go that horror thing, you don't feel anything like horror haunted house, horror. Ha- it actually, it's horror been a lot. Okay, I, I recently just went to one horror thing la, Okay, and then there was like an obvious jump scare. Mm. Then I just look at the jump scare. I look at the person playing as it's going. You're gonna jump out later, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he's like, "Hey, you help me scare the person." Eh. <laughs> then he's like, "Let me shake your hand." Then I already knew what's gonna come. I said, "Your hand's gonna drop out, right?" Then he just like. Nah, I'll give you my hand. <laughs> Wait, but that one is also because it is a lot more entertainment than horror, right? No, yeah. he he jump scares. I was dead. I saw like he jump scared quite a few people. But there's like the there's like the jump scare horror, but there's the creepy kind of horror. Kind oh of yeah lah, yeah. I think what would be scarier for me is probably going to abandoned places again. Oh, like yeah. proper abandoned, abandoned places. Oh, I think those are there's actual dangers that could be snakes can bite uh. you. Like as an adult, you start noticing things like snakes, spiders that are poisonous that you know. Uh, um, unstable buildings that may collapse and crush you. Well, which has, which has happened. Quite rare in Singapore these days, lah, right? This kind of thing. Yeah, lah, but but still can happen. Lah. So though, it's more safety lah, than yeah, anything yeah, yeah. else. Like, yeah. like the Dakota estate, I mean, that time mm. it was like half abandoned. I think we filmed there and all. Mm. Quite, it looked quite like yeah. a horror movie kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah. we filmed a horror yeah, trailer yeah, thing yeah, there. Correct, I did yeah. a docu there also. Yeah, so, so yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you were like, if if it was that's your jam, like if you could sneak into these places, and like, I, I wouldn't sneak into them, lah. But like, I I, I will go to like Tangling Hot. You still can go, right now. Tangling Hot is fully abandoned. Oh, we just shot yeah, there yeah. recently, also. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. So Tangling Hot is like like rows and rows of abandoned houses. Still got light on. Uh. But but that means people see you if they see you in real life today. Do the people always ask you, hey, tell me ghost story or something? He gets <laughs> it a lot. <laughs> he gets it a lot. <laughs> that's one of the things that I really hate about doing horror podcasts. Oh, is it? it has mm. gotten to a point, okay, the lowest point, right? Mm. I've gotten someone to ask me, hey, you got a ghost story? You know where was it at? At the fucking wake, lah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? First of all, it was very disrespectful of that person. Uh. But then again, I couldn't say no to that person because that person's uh, relative was the reason I, why I was there. Uh. So oh. it's like, hey, this guy got a uh, horror podcast. Hey, tell ghost story to everyone, eh? Yeah, I start telling. Oh, so they, they oh, ask seriously? you to tell to oh. everyone. Yeah, oh, bastards, okay. yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, bro, your grandfather lying there, you know. He's <laughs> asked me to tell ghost story. Or but you still told. La. I still told. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's what my grandfather would have wanted like, for you to sit here and tell us the story. <laughs> no, la, but like he's, he's like, he's like the, the main guy. <laughs> la, so I have to give him face. La, but at the same time, at the, it's not, I was like, oh, I need, I reached a new all time low. Yeah. Okay, like he never, did he pull up one empty chair and then just leave it empty? And then, like, <laughs> there, were, there were empty chairs. Oh, okay, la, there were okay, empty okay. chairs. So la. that means at any point in time, you have like your roller decks of like ghost stories. Yeah, la, I have a lot. La, like a little bit too much. La. Yeah. Uh, Which we will segue. Okay. Sure, mm. sure. Into the part where like you all do a lot of shows, you all do a lot of recording and, and of course you, you do podcast productions, right? So has anything weird happened during recording? Specifically. Oh, during recording. Yeah. Uh. yeah. Because wow. it has happened to me. I'll, huh. tell, I'll tell you the story later, but like has, you, you go into the far reaches of your mind and try to extract. Yeah. yeah. Um, Anything minute also can. I mean, we've lost footage before and everything. Mm. I can't, 
can't remember any instance of anything really outrageous happening. Uh. No ghostly apparitions or no, 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 like mm. rec- like weird sounds and yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, oh, I mean, if anything, uh, we record in a space where somewhere near us la, I won't say who <laughs> uh, one of our one of the neighbors or something seems to at a very certain time of the week every week have uh, start having some rituals uh, and speaking in certain ah. a certain kind of unrecognizable language not mm. speaking like like chanting and you can hear it when if you are there in the office late enough and everything uh. so I can't I can't verify mm. what exactly it is but uh, I don't think it's ever it's come up when shit. you hear it. Yeah. But it's very creepy when you're like leaving yeah. the office late and you walk past and you hear like it. Like how late? Like 10? 9, 10, yeah, 10. But do you know the guy? No. no yeah. No, we don't. I, it's, it's yeah, I think it's one of those groups that congregate every... How far, so how far is he away? His unit like is away? Three doors down? Yeah, oh, a few man. doors So down. you can hear it. Can, can hear. hear. Can hear. No, like on, on, on the hall. No, even in, the in, the, in yeah. our office, we can hear. Yeah. Then if you want to record podcast, then how? But we were with yeah. far enough insight, so I think it's isolated. But I guess if you use AI and tune out the tune out the uh, you know tune out the background, or you might be able to hear it sometimes, la. Yeah, rarely la. We rarely record at that time. So Maybe yeah, you should yeah. do it for science. Just try to record. <laughs> try to catch that. You put point point a shotgun mic down towards his like. Then you try to record, and then you try to like. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. because it's a group la. It's a it's a group, and they're quite loud, and yeah, it can be quite freaky la. Freaky, yeah. yeah freaky. Is it quite doesn't feel so? I, mean, no. I don't know. It's yeah. like you can't tell the language. It's can't like speaking in tongue or something, yeah. like. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. So it's not it supernatural. Could be, it could be Latin. Like, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe it could be Latin. Yeah. No it idea. Could, it could be yeah. one of those like languages that are not mainly not, not always used. Yeah. On, yeah. Or it might just be gibberish. Well, be, that's yeah. that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> that's but, worse. But yeah, it, it's then freaky because because our, our our office where we record is a meeting room that's we turn into a studio. But the general area you can hear it very clearly when when they oh, do it. I la. would love mm. to be there to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now knock the door. Hey, you guys want to you guys want to record ghost stories? <laughs> you have fun with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just fun. I'm just joking. Later they will drag me inside. Then it become a true crime case, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Local <laughs> podcasters get murdered. <laughs> what? Wait, what's this podcasters? <laughs> <laughs> he said you have fun with that together la. <laughs> but what, what was your recording uh, story okay so uh, we used to have a studio in uh, Kodamau Tower mm. obviously mm. right mm. on brand so uh, I do podcast production so I do record for other podcasts so there was this podcast that I was recording uh, and it was a three mic podcast so only three mics there were. I, I wasn't uh, the voice I was just doing the sound engineering and uh, I would say that my studio was quite well treated, and uh, it was uh, we were recording at four pm mm. uh, in the afternoon. Uh, but this was during the Hungry Ghost Month. Okay. Mm. Okay. But we have done prayers already, so we do the usual like first of Hungry Ghost Month, the fifteenth and the thirtieth. Then uh, I started hearing a fourth voice. Oh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and I was using this very same audio interface. And uh, when I heard the fourth voice, I literally did this. Mm. And then I was like, okay, weird. Then I started isolating the channels. I was like, Mm -hmm. okay, who's making that sound? And it sounded like this. (laughs) Right in my ear. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I can hear it very clearly. But I, I, I boosted the audio and I was like, no, not source A, not source B, not source C. Then I pulled everything down. Mm -hmm. Then I can't hear it already. Then I push back up. I still can't hear it. Mm. Then, then, then that's when like the client sitting beside me said, what's wrong, Carl? I was like, wait, wait. Can't hear it. Then I put it back. Can't hear it. Then I said, okay, okay. It's okay. Uh, I know what's going on now. So I, I, I just like, uh, in my mind, I did a little prayer. I said, I'm just doing my job. Don't disturb. Okay. Mm. And you're not supposed to be in this office. This office is off limits. This mm. office is protected. You're not supposed to come in. Mm. You go away or something. Or maybe it could be a passing spirit. La. But so far, I'm not gotten any ghost hunting in then did that it go studio. away did it go away after you pray no then no, after so that right I of course I did the forensic la. so after they left I took out the SD card immediately and I started playing mm. uh. no no voice uh. yeah nothing master found nothing individual source nothing and then uh, I think one of our previous day I guess said that maybe I had the third year yeah <laughs> which is quite <laughs> funny <laughs> I was just about to say, like maybe that that. Like no, but yeah, it's only once only. I only heard uh, that kind of voice once only, once only. I see. I see. Which is very strange, but it could be a, it could be. 
it could be like a breathing thing, but I really doubt so because all of the the podcast voice people they were a bit they were on the younger side, so mm. they couldn't be have like any breathing issues. Vent- like. Ventriloquism. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to mess with the client or the client over. Mess with cow. Yeah, yeah, just mess with cow. Because I mean, I mean, if anything, we record. Sometimes there's the electrical in signal. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. one is the wire, like, yeah, yeah. Then you move the wire. You, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe this one is like a next level. Of it, it could yeah. be that. It could be that. But uh, I am. I've asked like friends what even more technically sound than me. They mm. say that it's very rare to have electrical interference because the mics these days, they are very well built. The wires, they are also quite well shielded. So it's very rare. Very, very rare. Almost Tomorrow in- we can show you. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, when you I come was, on. I was every other week. Very easy. Uh, no, I know why, because your XL cross until like the uh, electrical yeah, wires. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, correct, yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 yeah, la, so, yeah, so I, that, that was the only time that I thought that was weird. I yeah. guess Golden Mile, la, right? Golden yeah. Mile has, has, history. yeah, every time I tell you so, people are like, Golden Mile, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But, but yeah, I don't think we have had any weird things. Maybe we have to ask uh, our sound guy, Tristan. Yeah, maybe he, he hears something. But even he all the other shoots we used to do for Ministry of Funny when Correct, we, yeah. we've done late night shoots. We've yeah, done late night shoots. Yeah, Horror so really thankfully stuff. nothing. Yeah. Thankfully okay, nothing. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So then maybe like, do you also think that maybe because how you say, uh, uh not say you all go looking for it, but you all you all live in the world of horror. Yeah. Confirmation bias, are you saying? No, not say confirmation bias. Maybe whatever's out there, they also want to find their own audience. Uh, you know, they're like they're like podcasters. The podcasters. Uh, they're like, hey, come to these fuckers. No one gives a shit. We might as well talk to people who who would actually pay attention. Uh. When you want to say the usual phrase that I say. What's the usual phrase? Isn't it about recording? It? About recording? About telling ghost stories? Oh yeah, um, we have an audience from the other side as well. What? <laughs> we? Huh? I, I did. Okay. <laughs> I just assumed it was like an abstract concept that you know, if you're telling these kind of stories, yeah, and if you believe in these kind of things, eventually they will they will pay attention to you just because it's like, hey, it's uh, you talk about me, right? Uh, you talk about me, right? Um, I think we, we I think we have told the story on there before, but I think it was after our fiftieth episode of Ghost Maps, mm. somewhere around there, that um, long story short, both of us were like, we're at Changi Beach lah, uh. for barbecue and everything, but mm. something happened, mm. and both of us were like, is that what I think it is? And then he goes, Shh, not now. What 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 happened? If you don't mind me asking. Um, we were we were heading to the washroom, mm, so a bunch of mm. us, and uh, I brought one of our friend's dog. Ah, for a walk okay. Through. The dog is normally very well behaved, doesn't really bark at anything. Halfway to the washroom, we we're passing by like I think it was just one tree and then the ocean beyond. Dog flips out, mm. starts barking wildly at this tree, and there's nothing there, just the tree and then ocean beyond. Um gets loose out of its leash and starts running. So I jump and then catch the dog. He's already walking in front. Carl's already walking in front. And he hears me go on the ground like an idiot. And then he turns around and he's like, and he always will, will you know, talk shit to the dog. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a small little dog and he loves talking shit to the dog. Um, the one time I've heard him go, no, no, it's okay, good girl. That's what started to freak me out. Mm. At first I was like, what's she barking at? And I thought, no, it can't be. The moment he got there and went, no, no, good girl. I was like, okay, that's kind of creepy. The fact that you're actually being nice to the dog. And in that moment, both of us kind of, we didn't see anything, but it's one of those feelings you get where it's like, okay, I can't deny that something is watching us. You mm. really can feel like something is like looking at us. And yeah, so after we went back everything, I, I, Asked him, did you feel that? He's like, shh, shh, don't say anything yet. It was only the next day that we started talking about it. It was like, yeah. There mm. was something in that tree that was watching us. Mm. Oh, and so it, yeah. it didn't feel, or at least to me, it didn't feel like it was malicious. It was almost like just letting us know, I know who y'all are. La. Mm. Mm. They, they can sense like, actually like earthquakes and stuff, they know. Yeah, like yeah, before it happens, yeah. they know. That kind it of went thing. tsunamis yeah. and all, right? Yeah, so yeah. That, that, actually that will put even greater faith in their sixth sense. Yeah. Yeah, their sixth yeah, sense yeah. is much yeah, higher. Right. Yeah. So Maybe there's some frequency they can hear yeah. that we can't. So if they're not freaking out, then I'm like, okay, it's dark, whatever, but it's chill, nothing, just, like, just, nothing, just, you know, just relax. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, but like I, 
there's another there's another perspective to that story. So that huh. that barbecue right was at Changni right, yeah, yeah. Changni Beach. So throughout that night right, he he and the rest of the gang were like quite far away from like maybe like there like by the TV or five meters away. So I was mm. I was barbecuing. Then I kept having that feeling of being watched mm. throughout mm. the whole night. But I, it could be just like manifesting because we were doing horror mah. So I, like, I don't care. Uh. Then uh, <laughs> I started feeling leaves on my head, like leaves dropping. Mm. There was this about this height uh, this tree. Uh, but then I started shining the light at the tree mm. just to see because I was shining light at the foot but at the tree also. Mm. Then um, I just got this feeling la, and the dog kept looking at a certain point beyond the barbecue pit. Mm, mm. The dog kept doing that. It, it barked a few times but it kept doing that. So I noticed that, I noticed that already. And then when, they, when we decided to go to the toilet, right, uh, that's when I, I heard the bark and then I saw the big tree and I immediately knew what was going on. Mm. Uh, it was a Miss P. I didn't see it, but I could feel it. And so it was a Miss P. Like the Miss P. Yeah. Say it. Say it. Say a- it. I thought scary. you not scared. Oh, I thought you not okay, scared. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think I night, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so um, I didn't say anything to him. He didn't say anything to yeah. me. He mm. just asked me uh, when we went. We showed me. Text me at three four a.m. And I was just like, you, you know. What did you say? I said no. Um, when we went back, and my friend was asking, like the owner of the dog was asking what happened, and we said, "Oh, you know, um, nothing." We shrugged the, it off. The dog was barking at like a small creature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I messaged him when we got back. I was like, "That wasn't a small creature, was it?" He was like, "Shut up! Can we talk about this tomorrow?" Yeah. yeah. No. Mm. So that like on that night when you go back to sleep, like go back and sleep at night, right? How, like, do you all go to bed like just a bit like, mm. or it's just another another day? Uh. Okay. So. Back to Terence's question when he asked whether like as horror creators do we like create a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Uh, actually, it's the other way. I feel just because I'm doing horror right now, I feel like I cannot take every single story as a ghost story. Mm-hmm. I need to be extra careful. I need to uh, I need to really look into it whether if it's just like you're thinking too much oh. or if it's a reading. So I, we are, I, for, at least for me, la, I, mm. I, I take extra steps to like verify it verify the, the, the thing. Oh yeah, mm. and I think when it comes to the stories we get, especially for ghost maps, you you kind of realize that some of them just, they're clearly not ghost stories. They're clearly mm. somebody who- Yeah, anyhow. On. Yeah, and for us, a lot of the times when somebody tries to emulate the style we write in, we're like, mm, you yeah. can tell. You can tell that they are trying to write a ghost stories. Yeah, yeah It's yeah. the ones that they are like, just spam, right? Oh, then yeah. they are like, then they will re- remember like random details, right? Yeah. Like, oh, I remember there was like a, like there was a statue of a frog at the right mm. side, mm. like random days before I saw the apparition or something, mm. before I felt that something touched me, that kind of thing. That's when you know that it's a lived in experience. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, so we are extra sensitive to that lah, in, mm. in that sense. Uh, a lot of the times I get excited when something weird happens. I was like, oh, maybe got story. Ah. Yeah. But a lot of the times I also get disappointed. I am probably nothing. I will, yeah, I will yeah, most yeah. probably debunk, debunk it. But that 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 story uh, was very weird. Because normally Wayne, right, he 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 also can be quite skeptical. Uh. He'd be like, yeah, probably nothing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but his skeptic is more of like he's trying to make himself feel better. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I, <coward>. can, <laughs> I can sleep better at night, that kind of skeptic, yeah. right? Which is weird because like asking whether we slept okay that night. I, I slept like a baby. Then. Yeah, I slept, uh. I slept well. Because I know that. Uh, I have not done anything wrong. Yeah. I have not, you know, like go and pee on a tree or something. Yeah. So I I feel like you. if I don't disturb you, why, why would you disturb yeah. me? I, I, I think for us, it was at least that night, it was a case of, like I said, like, it felt like the audience letting us know, oh, we're here by the way, we're watching. Yeah. Uh. It wasn't like a warning or anything. It's like, oh. it's like, Maybe they wanted to ask a hey, next episode coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the volume, uh, yeah, the, the, volume, the music was really loud. <laughs> your last episode. If they just follow our social media. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. I mean, uh, as with any horror podcasters, like any horror creators, you know, even the ones, the local ones, uh, that I also listen to, right? Like Dennis Chu, Chongko Jiang Gui. Right? Mm. He also say, "Ni zai ting, ta men ye zai ting." Basically, if if the humans, they, the humans are listening. So are they the spirits that are listening? Mm, so mm. is that is that is that whole idea lah that a lot of other podcasters they also believe that they have listeners from the beyond. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
it doesn't add to our numbers lah, but you know. Yeah, yeah I wish numbers it did, don't though. count. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you want to help me do something? The podcast charts in the afterlife is a lot different from the... The whole stack of hell money that's like, you know, money launderer. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. How advertising in the afterlife is fantastic. But yeah, it's quite... um. It, I don't know it, for for us. Yeah, we've shot a lot, but we've never uh. thought about it. And and yeah, I think that's. Or maybe a, it's because like we will just attribute it to something else, la. Yeah, we we'll just look each yeah. other like hey, don't be a cock, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so guys, you have recently branched out into narrative horror comedy mm. with mm. the new series After Life Support. Mm. Yeah. So can you share with with us uh, what is it about? Mm. Go ahead, man. Uh, so it's a it's a ten episode scripted podcast, mm. a comedy horror mm. uh, that follows this this uh, jaded millennial called Leia, <laughs> who recently got laid off from a tech job, and just goes to help her uncle who works in an exorcist shop. He's like he's a, he's an exorcist <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I mean he's always had a third eye can communicate with ghosts, but she uses her tech skills to create an AI software that allows them to talk to ghosts. Mm. So the twist is when she talks to ghosts. She realizes that all these ghosts, they are also dealing with modern day problems. Mm. So like the Toyo known for stealing money, can't steal money anymore because everything's cashless. <laughs> yeah. And a Pontianak can't like uh, haunt taxi drivers because they don't stop for her on the road anymore. Yeah. They're all too busy on their right heel apps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. 10, 10 episodes. Each episode features a different ghost and we wanted to feature a different ghost from Asia. Mm. So Japan, Vietnam, India, Myanmar. Malaysia, Myanmar, all got representation. But there's also a story that ties all 10 episodes together. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ASEAN. <laughs> ASEAN. <exactly>. Plus, plus. <laughs> got, got expert also. Expert. Got, 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 yeah, 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 expert also. Yeah, yeah. Got expert. Horseman, correct, correct. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I must say that I've, I've listened to all the episodes. I'm a fan. Oh, really? I, I, oh, love I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Miss P episode, well, almost cried. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, really yeah. good. It's really good. So, oh, thanks, guys, man. check it out. Give you some yeah. love. I, like, as someone who creates, like, on the other end of the spectrum, horror, right? Like we do like more atmospheric, mm. but I think this one is it really reflects daily life in Singapore, mm. and I like yeah, how you yeah. inject all your knowledge from the four hundred episodes of <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. into it. There's yeah. a lot of political statement in there. Oh, mm. that, oh that, was that really? <laughs> 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 it was drop comedy. <laughs> no lah, no lah. But like I, 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 I do like that. There is some statement. It's not just like you know you're telling a story for a story. Oh, wow. I, I will say. Um, I, I can always appreciate a good episode, a good first episode of anything, like mm. or a good first issue or anything. The Toyo, mm. the, the the cashless thing, I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And Hafiz, Hafiz's performance Hafiz was on this world, right? Hafiz, yeah. Hafiz was yeah. on day there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was, was so there. good, yeah, right? He was yes. damn good. And, and it was, even the recording process, he just walked in and like, like he just, was just yeah. nailing it from the, from the start, right? Yeah. So, I mean, can we give a shout out to the co-creator, Joe Tan also, mm, yes. who actually co-created a series of us and she wrote a bulk of the episodes. And I think oh, that nice. perspective you're talking about, like you get, uh, you you feel scared, you laugh, but mm. you also feel touched, especially that aspect of feeling like, you know, moved and touched. I think a lot of it goes to Joe, like, bring her, you know, her theater her experience theater experience and, and mm. yeah, her experience as a very different person from Harish myself also, like, right? Mm. Into the story, yeah. yeah. Mm. Not not just for like it's not just about like oh let's just have a woman in here but someone with you know a lot of uh, experience mm. meeting different types of people playing different characters and all so so, so and it was fun to create la. so it's mm. awesome to know that you guys also like enjoy it yeah yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm waiting yeah. for the finale oh, <laughs> oh the finale yeah, is yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah, I, I, I want to hear the <laughs> yeah. I, I like the latest episode also yeah, the, oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. very long like, twenty minutes it is a longer uh, yeah, episode, not long enough. Yeah. <laughs> We did not oh, realize yeah. it was that long until oh, we finished. Yeah, the yeah, finale yeah, yeah. is gonna be like no, it's, uh, it's gonna be fun. Man. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, see, it's uh. nice to hear someone who actually heard it and tell us that they like it. Because again, it feels like we're shouting to the darkness yeah, again, yeah. Right? Yeah, I yeah, thought right. you were gonna start questioning him. Which episode? <laughs> 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 oh, I, I, I was oh, prepared. Oh, oh, I was prepared. Oh, I, prepared. Oh, I, was prepared. Oh, I do my research already. I do my <laughs> research already. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you listen two times speed or like normal speed? Normal speed, normal speed, normal speed. Scripted, scripted, normal speed. Scripted, normal speed. Yeah, but here's the thing about me. I don't know about you guys, but as a podcaster, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Mm. It's weird, but I know of podcasters who don't listen to podcasts, yeah. but oh. their own. Yeah, yeah, which can. Oh, they listen to their own podcast. Yeah, because oh. they have to edit, ma. Oh, they have to edit. Yeah, yeah, not not like go away. Yeah, that's why every morning. Oh, what did I record? Thank God, thank God, he does the edits. Because the one podcast I refuse to listen to is our own. Because I cannot stand the sound of my voice. So yeah, but yeah, I I listen to podcasts, and I will I won't deny that most podcasts I listen to on like one point five, one point eight lah. 
Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and no problem. No You're problem. all both uh. big podcast listeners. Oh, know. him way more than way me. More. Like, how, it's, wow. dif- it's difficult for me because like, if I'm writing, I cannot listen. Oh, to, you cannot listen. Yeah. Uh. It's reached a point in time where I can't even listen to music with lyrics. Mm, mm, it has mm. to be, and I've got specific uh, songs, instrumental yeah. tracks that I'll put on when I'm writing a ghost mm, episode. Yeah. And uh, that's it. I can't, and even when I'm working like, but exercising uh, or doing laundry or exercising, dishes, yeah, all that, exercising okay, nah. dishes and all that, that's no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, dishes cannot lah. Dishes cannot, why? It's not like, it, let them pile up then wash. I usually like, oh, wash you wash dishes. Oh, oh, oh you're, yeah. you're, you're more, I'm a pilot. Yeah, we're, we're team pilot. Yeah, we're team pilot. Yeah, team pilot. Yeah, yeah, team pilot. Like, we can just do one go, right? Batching, batching. Yeah, just yeah, batch yeah, that shit yeah, lah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I make it sound as scientific as possible. Yeah, save water, save water, guys. Yeah. Save water. Yeah. <laughs> batching, batching all the way. There's this thing called batching. Yeah, yeah batching. <laughs> Economies of scale, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but but podcasts really have like filled that that void when you know you're doing something brainless yeah. and you you kind of just still want to stimulate a little bit la, I, like I, driving on yeah, it. Yeah, I started mostly because of exercising mm-hmm. and listening to music does not help distract from the fact that I'm very very unfit. Mm. Podcast on the other hand, because you have to pay attention to it. Mm. Oh. Suddenly you're like, oh, it's yeah. distracting enough. Uh. Yeah, it's like it's oh, very, it's very okay, two point five k, good, good, good. Yeah. It's when the podcast ends and then you're done with exercising, that's when it really starts to hurt. Mm. Sure. Yeah. But like you were saying you listen to a lot of podcasts. Like how much is a lot? Uh, wow. I think I can go through like maybe five episodes of different shows a day. A day? Because ah. wow. I, I do a lot of post-production work. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So so uh, mostly color, coloring, oh. uh, a little bit of editing here and there. Then the, that's when I take out the podcast and sometimes I cook at home so I, I, I yeah but that's something that I can even when cooking right I cannot listen to podcast no? why because I find I, I need to pay attention to the podcast and mm. cooking also I need to pay attention also you uh, must sit down and have oh, no oh, like, like dishwashing okay uh, dishwashing. like uh, walking running all okay uh, but for cooking cooking they want a bit hard you, you need to watch the recipe video, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. And also because yeah. cooking, I mean, I, I've, 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 I'm, I'm not like a bad, bad cook, I think, but I still need to think about what I'm cooking. I haven't reached a level where it's like autopilot and like, I can feel it. Like, mm. you know, you know. But, but uh. it, it's like, I remember I went on a road trip in 2019 and like one of the highlights of the trip was like this really long drive where I could just listen to a mm. couple of Joe Rogan episodes that I really enjoyed. I think they were debating about veganism and all that. Mm. Mm. I just enjoyed it so much and like that podcast was an exp- part of the experience of enjoying that, that yeah. drive yeah. Mm. that is seared into my mind that wow, once you find a good podcast mm. that accompanies you, right? Well, it really becomes part of the fabric of how you, you how you just engage with the world. La. But how did the other people in the car feel about it? Irritated. La. Yeah, you <laughs> see? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was my wife. La, and she's like, do you really need to listen to this? I'm like, yeah, it's not funny. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Have you had that kind of like, experience with yeah, podcasts? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, my wife can now also because I, I, I don't do headphones. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. you're such an uncle. Oh. <laughs> I only do headphones. No, my so ration- those five episodes and all a day is like no headphones. Yeah, if you're on public transport, you, but then you she, blast. You <laughs> blast. No la, no la. Oh, yeah, yeah. I airports oh, okay, la, But okay, like, okay, okay. but like, I, I I told her because headphones I wear them for work most of the time. Very mm. shack. It's hot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't want that, and I want to fully utilize my studio monitor. So so I and and the podcast that I listen, thankfully, she also can tolerate. She oh. also like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. I see, I see. yeah. So, so, so that, that, that's that lah. Yeah. But I mean, speaking of podcast, right. Uh, how do you guys like come up with that idea? You know, after oh. life support. Oh, after life support. Uh, I think we've always wanted to do something that really showcases Southeast Asian folklore and ghosts. Mm. Uh. I feel like we're, you know, as a region in terms of representation, I know not that kind of representation, but just, there's a lot of stories that are not, told very very like uh in a very uh entertaining fashion yeah. Yeah. or at least like you know well, hollywood has to do a remake of you know all the horror movies <laughs> and all which I, we, we felt like yeah. there must be something to you know some something about being in singapore and being able to speak like different languages <clears throat> experience different cultures different food different everything that yeah. puts us in a good place to talk about all these things and mm, present yeah. it package it for the rest of the world mm. so so yeah, I mean, ultimately, I think uh, we we had a few ideas that were meant for films or TV series. Yeah. Then then suddenly this thing came about. I think Harish was the one who 
who thought of adapting this for this mm. one, right? Yeah. Because actually since about 2014, 2015, we have always wanted to do comedy horror. Mm. Like the first iteration of this idea was basically like Ocean's Eleven, except mm. it's all Asian ghosts trying to break into heaven. Mm. Where heaven <laughs> is Orchard Towers. Mm. Orchard Towers the gateway to hell. Or <laughs> yeah, the gateway yeah. to hell. Wow. So we actually have a film treatment for that. Mm. And then at one point we were thinking, can this be a TV series? Because... In is like okay, the goal of every filmmaker, yeah, is to make something that the whole world can watch, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know that horror travels, yeah. um, but not like for us. I mean, it's never going to be horror, horror. What we do well is comedy. Mm. And then if you have you all seen the shows, what uh, what we do in the shadows? Oh yeah, the, oh, the yeah, yeah. film. Right? We we're just talking about it. Yeah, yeah. The, film, the film and it, the TV series. Yeah, yeah. like it's amazing. So right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, amazing, nah. and like watching that, you're like, oh shit! Like, uh, if you want to do a show that really emphasizes local stories that can appeal to not just the Singapore audience, it felt like a no-brainer. Mm. So since then, we've always been iterating and yeah, this thing came up and we're like, hey, shit, we've already done a scripted audio before. Mm. Then we pitched it and it and it, and it uh, got greenlit and yeah, so now now we're thinking that we had this podcast, can we adapt it to a television series or mm. something? Yeah, mm. nice. Yeah, because it's like a proof of concept already. Very smart, yeah. yeah so and, it was, and it was super fun, like, it was super fun. Like. But that's yeah. the beauty of podcasts, right? Yeah. It's, it's easier to, you know, you come up with a story and then, yeah then you adapt it for other platforms. Whereas vice versa, it's, it's very hard. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, there's also another <clears throat> perspective for it. As a filmmaker, we rely on visuals and audio, mm. right? But yeah. you take the visual away, you you really need to tune in the, the, mm. the pacing, the, yeah, the script, yeah. the delivery, yeah. it needs to up. Yeah. So I think it's also a different kind of challenge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We won't deny that writing those scripts was a lot more like, uh, it's a bit more on the nose. Uh. You mm. really have to tell, oh, here we are. We are here at yeah. this place because, you know, this part of the story. Uh. Yeah. Whereas I like, film, you can establishing shot. You, yeah. you show and not tell, uh, right? Whereas yeah. the audio, yeah. you have Just to tell, tell a lot. Yeah, uh. We really tell have tell. to tell. Uh. Yeah. 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 Well, you guys said y'all had this kind of in, in the back of your mind since like 2014. Yeah. Yeah. How come... Why did it take so long to get to this point? Because we pitched it as like a TV series before, but like neither here nor there. And then the film stuff, I mean, we were also starting out, right? We didn't mm. know, hey, how, do, how do you actually make a film? Yeah. So yeah. we just said, okay, uh, and, and I mean, speaking to writers, we thankfully got a chance to work with some writers from LA and they were saying, mm. at any point in time, you need to have a treatment for a film in your pocket ready to go like, because right. it can show your writing credentials. Like. Yeah. So we started working on that, but the shows that we were getting greenlit were all not this. Mm. So it was something that we never fully pushed also, right? Mm. But then, speaking of which, yeah, we had uh, someone, a friend who works in Hollywood, a mm. writer, who thought this was idea was has, has legs, uh, mm. you know, mm. and then we were working with him for a while to like package it and see what could come out of it. So we knew, oh, this, if, if he finds it yeah. interesting, I think it can work. Uh, and then yeah. we, that's why we always like kept it in our back pocket. We always talked about it. So yeah, finally be, to be able to yeah. do something about it, like, even if it's not the final, what we envisioned initially, hmm. it's, it's great. Nah, and know. I mean, even if we, like if someone says, oh, we give you a chance to make a film right now, right? this would definitely be a concept that I think still has legs yeah. and still got appeal. Yeah. And like all these characters, all these ghosts, they're so interesting, right? Uh, and when you adapt it for like a heist mission, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah it has so much potential, so you, much you fun. You want me to, to cut be. out that part? No? Later people steal your IP. Oh no, no, it's all about execution. It's all about, whoa, 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 it's all about whoa, whoa, execution. Yeah. 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 100% agree. Yeah. Anybody can come up with an idea. Yeah. Put in the work. That's the yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was, I was just about to say that, you know, doing a podcast, being yeah. podcasters, we have become attuned to certain things that I think uh, even just like people who do like film or that might yeah. not be able to see like, you know, like why certain voices you, when you listen yes. to it feel so much more, you know, just makes you feel better when you hear yeah. it, you know, like having ear sex and all that. Mm. So even the audition process, I realized like, oh, I was approaching it from a very different angle, like how I would mm. if yeah. I was like, you know, watching an audition tape of somebody and all that. Yeah. 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 And I mean, you all do like write for audio also. So you know that there's there's something that is very different writing for audio than it is for other formats. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, and because you have a listener who is more captive, you almost got a bit more liberty to maybe go into places that, if you're doing like a YouTube video, you know, you must skip past yeah. everything. Whereas audio, there's more investment and there's more to play with. Like. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's the intimacy that you're saying, like yeah, you got yeah. the earphones in and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. But yeah, it it it's been interesting, like mm. writing stories for audio, because like I'm used to writing for like prose or whatever. Mm. So writing for audio, suddenly I think like we'll end up discussing, oh, do we want to put in sound effects down here? Yeah, How's the music yeah. sound stuff like that? Mm. And he's been very helpful as well, because like 
he's way more immersed in writing for for film for television and for audio as well so like he's he's gonna go like no 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 this part here change this down here and everything mm. but yeah yeah but uh, but again we didn't also just start from scratch la. yeah. i mean there were a lot of shows that we had uh you know listened to before like homecoming mm. i think homecoming we mm. all listened to we realized oh this you can make a scripted dram- dramatic thing out of yeah. uh, you know and, and end up like having like big stars like Dave Schumer and all that act mm. in it and like you really enjoy the performances yeah. even though it's pure audio. So so I think listening to those really and that was all during like in the last couple of years really, yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah. opened our minds about all the possibilities also uh, yeah. for audio. Yeah. Mm. So, so I, I think uh, yeah it's, it's it's good like, that you listen to a lot of podcasts you, all these things come together in your mind and one day yeah. suddenly you're, like, you're, oh, you're working on something like that also. That's mm, cool. Yeah. Uh. So, yeah. so what were some of the inspirations, like horror movies, books, or even games that that inspire afterlife support? Mm, I think definitely the what we do in the shadows. Mm. Uh, Ocean's Eleven for me. I think like, uh, like P. Mark, that kind of like uh, horror, oh, horror comedy. Horror kind comedy, of thing. yeah. Um, I mean, like Homecoming is something yeah. that we we watch and like, oh, well, this is an interesting series and and we yeah. ha- handled it. And um, uh, I think. I mean, even like, on, like tangentially, you know the um, the extras, uh, the show by uh, Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais, yeah. Yeah. So basically, the whole premise is he's a like a back, background actor wanting to make yeah. it big as an actor. So every episode, there's a celebrity, but it's a twisted caricature of them, like, Yeah. You know, you show a side of them like no one expect. Like like Kate Winslet is like a foul mouth. Uh, and who's that guy who played Professor Xavier? Oh, Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart, he was some pervert <laughs> so, and yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that has always been something we want to do. So then if you take this ghost and then you show another, another side, side of them yeah. that is not scary, that is yeah. almost hilariously vulnerable, is is them fun. Yeah. Is, yeah. is them yeah. fun. Yeah. And we've been trying to do that since our YouTube days. Yeah, like, same thing. enthusiasm kind of thing. Where yeah, correct, correct. A lot of different stupid scenarios come together and like, you know, creates a, this really ridiculous but you can totally see how it happened kind of scenario yeah. like, you know yeah. and so like yeah ghosts after life and real life and technology and boomers yeah. all these things coming <laughs> and oh, yeah. yeah AI also right mm, the whole yeah, rise the of AI. AI and then yeah. there is an exorcist shop I'm sure you all know in Singapore around Kat- Katong there Katong, yeah. he yeah. introduced yeah. me to it so <laughs> the, <laughs> the guy who runs it yeah. was uh, like uh, I mean we were looking at him and like oh shit like uh, don't know whether there are other shops yeah. but yeah these people who have been in the craft for like 20, 30 years right yeah. then when you have AI and how that two things marry each other and he had a profile on Singapore Tedler. Prestige, right? prestige, prestige, yeah. prestige. What, was he was he like a like like a consultant? Uh, no, 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 no. We read the prestige <laughs> article. Read, yeah, yeah. We read the prestige article. <laughs> not, uh, everything was fictional and not based. Uh, yeah, every, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, all yeah. coincidental. All coincidental. Yeah. Nice, 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 yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do like how boomer Uncle Bing Hing is. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super <laughs> boomer. Super yeah. boomer. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, and Edward, you're really yeah. cast it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. awesome. Yeah, Edward Choi did yeah, yeah, a yeah. But great job, Edward, man. In in real life, you would never imagine that he's that. Yeah, he's like a corporate guy, you know, like almost. Yeah. Ex banker and all, yeah. yeah. Interesting. So all, all the all the characters we all the cast we casted also really brought their own flavor to the like like you know Hafiz in Toyo, mm. yeah, Xenia, yeah. And Leia, yeah. they really brought something. So we are super happy with. And yeah. I mean the good thing is like unlike a live shoot where you know if it rains, wah, wow, chala already. Mm. This one you're recording audio. It's all in in our studio. Yeah. So it's it's fun like It's very interesting. Yeah. The yeah, whole process. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys uh, planning to do anything like longer form kind of like? Yeah. Scripted things. So so Kyle? I mean anyway the cat's out of the bag. We yeah. are doing our <laughs> first narrative. Na- nar- I think how would you say yeah? Uh, how would you what would you call it? Ghost Max is already narrative horror. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's it's more um, of a serial yeah. la, a serial, yeah. uh, mm. audio serial mm. uh, based in the Ghost Maps mythos and uh universe. So uh it also has a very cheeky name. Uh yeah. ICA. Mm. Uh, it's also horror la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. basically what uh, you wanna say it? Oh, I like how you throw it to me. Uh, okay, yeah. well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's the International Cooperation for Apparitions. No wrong. Oh. International Cooperative for Apparitions. Oh, cooperative. Oh, I see. Cooperative. But then it has like a very nice emblem. It's like a man oh. like but funnier. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah. Uh. But not really comedy. La. It, it, it's still, it's still uh, drama, but uh. horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the premise is like there's this organization. That, that goes, uh, like the, ghost, the, the narrator for Ghost Mask is like 
talking to all the ghosts and telling the ghost stories, right? Mm. Then the ICU will use the narrator as a bait. Uh, start catching ghosts. Oh, mm. I see, oh. I see. So it sets in the same, yeah, so it's nar- nar- uh, narrative, la, but yeah, that, that will be released next year. La. Yeah, oh, so nice. that is some, cool, some, man. Some, something, something, uh, something fun. La. Yeah, but, but it's exactly what you're talking about. Like we, it's like, you, you want to test it like an MVP, right? Yeah. And mm. podcast is, resource lighter yeah. than mm. you know a full on TV show. Yeah. 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 And and, and um, it's also fun to see the actors really go at go it. Out, yeah. yeah you, you see them having fun, you're like, oh my God, oh, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. they can do that, like certain voices and stuff. Like how much wiggle room do you guys give the actors in terms of the script? Because you said Hafid's like really made it his own. Mm. It, does he veer a little bit off the script and then you all encourage that or do Yeah, actually see? actually we do. I mean yeah. I like there are certain story points they must hit la. Mm. But if they can bring something, if they can like, you know, add lib one or two lines or add in a little a little phrases here and yeah. there, we're totally fine with that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think that's the one thing um that's been really surprising about writing for audio for me. Mm. When it's like on the page, it looks really like okay, that reads perfectly. Then the moment somebody says that out loud, you're like, mm, 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 that sounds yeah. wrong. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, correct, correct. There's but a cadence to it, like, yeah. Cadence, yeah. But it also comes down to I guess like how how is director also. So Harris yeah. director mm. this this part and yeah. I think because he's an actor who works in comedy, you, mm. comedy you kind of need to give people space to yeah. play, all right? If not, well, if everyone's very tense and all, it's very hard. Like. And we've been in that situation where, where you know, directors are very like, oh, you know, it has to be said uh, this way, yeah. you know, it has to be said this way, not just this line, but this way. Then it's like, where's the comedy in that? Like? Yeah. 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 Mm. But we also recorded, the thing is like, we recorded one cast at a time. Like. Mm. Uh, wow. So that's where sometimes the dynamic. So that's where like like yeah, I like just have to take take note uh, and and the, some of the timing can be played with in the post production. Mm. Uh, and we have thought about it like you know recording with uh, both casts in the same room, but scheduling sometimes is a bit hard. Yeah, mm. yeah. I understand, understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did, I did, I, I did work on the audio series before, so mm. we, we did work on the series, yeah. and, and that yeah. was an issue also. Yeah, correct, it's hard yeah. La, It's hard, but but we we can try lah. Can try. Yeah, that's, that's quite impressive. I could not tell that. Cannot tell. Awesome. Cannot tell. Cannot oh, tell. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Especially the back and forth between uh Bing Hing and, and Leia. Yeah. yeah, Oh, that's awesome. It felt it felt real. Yeah, it felt uh, real. I, I mean, I never keep track, but sometimes they were in the room. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I, it, I can't pick out when exactly they went yeah. to get on. Oh, so awesome, that, awesome. Yeah. But so very, shout out to our yeah. audio engineer also, Tristan. Uh, yeah, Zinia, yeah. Zinia, Zinia, Zinia. Zinia. and Edward, who yeah. also played yeah. the, the lead characters. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good. I mean, yeah. But I mean, that, that's a beauty about audio that like you can really, you can play with timing, yeah. you can play, use, you know, sound effects to really heighten the yeah. certain experiences. Yeah. So yeah. I think, maybe in some ways even more leeway than, than film. Because yeah, mm-hmm. film, you kind of got, there's this, you have to follow something visually, right? Yeah. You know, whereas audio you can really like, okay, let's insert something here and there. You mm. know? I mean, like, I mean to throw to throw this question to all three of you, like perhaps it's because audio as a technology has already hit peak, max, peak already. Yeah. The technology is so good to the point yeah. whereby you can do anything at mm. a very low fraction of the cost, but you can do anything. Mm. Whereas film and video, they are still slowly. I don't. I won't say it's peak like, I think it's still towards heading yeah. towards that direction. Do you think that it's because audio is that advanced, that's why we can do so many things? Um, I think it's, it's maybe not so much less advanced, is that there's less senses to play with. Like. It's just yeah. your sense of hearing. Mm. Whereas visual, right? Like you're taking in so much info and if each, there are just a lot more variables to play with. Uh. Mm. It's like, you know, you want to take a photo, if it's black and white photo versus color photo. You know, like there's a limited range so you play within that space uh, and audio feels like that to me. Yeah. Mm. Uh, there's only so many factors that you can tweak. Uh, mm. Yeah, I feel like audio, even podcasting, what is, uh, we're continuing something that humans have been doing for tens of thousands yeah. of years, right? We sit around campfire or they sit around fire, tell yep. a story. Exactly. exactly yeah. And then, well, you know, War of the Worlds was recorded in what, 1930 or something yeah. like that. People were sitting around radios listening to it. Then serial podcast comes out and people are waiting every week for them. So it's the same Mm. Um, what, what do you call it? Uh, same format, same art form, but just over using technology as a different platforms uh, mm. to show people. So it's still the same thing. Uh, we're just still telling all these stories and the verbal way of like expressing, telling a story that that yeah we've been practicing for, for so long, and that's what our we've been evolved to yeah to to enjoy like. Whereas like film all that you know the when 3D glasses came about, remember, remember there was this phase in 2010s where yeah. everyone's watching 3D films and now it's gone and 
you don't know what's next. Like now it's like virtual production's a thing, but mm. I don't know. There's just something the technology evolves, but it's it's still finding its f- f- uh, footing, lah. Whereas yeah. like I think for audio, it's like so many thousands of years already, la, right? Mm. Yeah. Although not say audio, like just telling stories verbally. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm. So more of like the act, lah. The act of telling stories is like. Yeah, it comes just so naturally mm, to, yeah. to, for people to enjoy it also, yeah. Mm. Mm. And it's almost like, compared to if you watch a film, you know that that is not happening in front of you, mm. right? Whereas audio, when you listen, you close your eyes, you can almost imagine, eh, hey, on, on this podcast, someone can imagine they're sitting here with us, you know, mm. uh, almost. But when you're watching a yeah. film, like a YouTube video, you know that, okay, they are there and I am here. Yeah. 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 So I think that is also the, the nice thing about audio, like, which is quite quite powerful. Different, right? The, yeah, the, the different. different dimension. Like. Yeah, you're immersed into yeah. it. Like. That's yeah. why that's why people love podcasts, because they feel like they are your friend. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're in the, yeah. You're, they're sitting there, listen to yeah. Four people talking. Yeah, 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 about yeah. And if we met them in a coffee shop, like not, there's not too much difference, you know? Yeah, similar. yeah, there's not too much difference to listening to a podcast with us. Like. Yeah. Whereas, I mean, the debate in, in entertainment now, uh, virtual production, mm. they say like, okay, yeah, wow, you can pretend you are in this, in the desert and everything and you never actually have to leave the studio. But you think about it for the actors or so, yeah. it's like, the performance, the is, performance is different yeah. when you're yeah. like in actual fucking desert fighting the sand and wind, yeah. but you're just sitting in a studio, have a fan blowing it. It was very different, uh, right? And, and it, I think it's those little things that come across in the performance that yeah. that we with audio is is just is always it's we don't have much to play around with. Uh, it's just that's the medium radio. Yeah, mm, mm. yeah. That means speaking of medium, right? Do you guys plan to do any more series in the, in other genres like sci-fi or even mm. fantasy? Mm. Hmm. I would I would say for me always open to it but still rooted in some sort of comedy yeah. mm. uh, I think sci-fi like fantasy would be so fun but again it would be a different take to it uh. mm. like you imagine Game of Thrones as a comedy it would be quite funny yeah, yeah. it would be fucking hilarious <laughs> la, you know yeah. yeah it needs uh. to be comedy yeah. I feel like I mean we love watching a lot of different things but but at the end of the day I think comedy is what we want to yeah. create la, right you know and I think that's why like what we do in the shadows or like that sort of thing is like you take all these things that are typically scary but you twist it on his head, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah anything we can do with that is totally fair game. Mm. In fact, this one audible series that uh, audio series that we're working on, that's probably the only Not, thriller yeah. kind of thing. And yeah, like it, it feels a bit it's it's a different challenge. Mm. It's fun. Uh but yeah, there's no comedy there and it feels like okay like we understand comedy, uh, so why not focus on that? But adapt it to other genres. Mm. Uh, Still yeah. very much like grounded in comedy. La. Probably. La. Uh, Even if it's darker, like yeah. the Black Mirror esque uh, kind of yeah. thing. We, I mean, there are a lot of part, parts of Black Mirror you watch it, you're like, oh my God, that was so funny, right? You know? yeah. Even though it's so scary. And yeah, all. dark, dark. Yeah. That, that's okay shit, for yeah. us also, la, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's not. I, I think comedy can run across different genres. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, mm. uh, but I mean, I have to ask uh, for your fans. Definitely have to ask. Any chance of season two? Oh, I mean, we would love it. Uh, Do you guys have like, <laughs> uh, like a story for season two already? Uh, like an arc. I mean, it ends on a cliffhanger la, season yeah. one. Yeah, so, so there are questions that will still need to be uh, answered later. I mean, we would love to do it. Yeah, definitely. Love to do it. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if, if like you're listening here, give it a shot. The more listens we get, of course, the higher yeah. the chance. Yeah, of guys, you, two, you really, this is like, Hantu approved, like go, oh, on, uh, go listen to no, I'm, I'm not saying that we are voice of authority, but we, yeah. we love it. We oh, love yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, so awesome. so please please go and listen. No, I, I thought it was the voice of Hantu saying. Like, oh, yeah. no, no, no. Then what? Then what you need to go link to? Yeah. 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 Shifting gears, there's a few questions uh. that, that's coming from your fans that we asked out. We uh, put out a yeah, poll. Yeah. Uh. So, uh, okay, I will ask this one, the most obvious one. Are there any spooky incidents at your building? Which I guess you have kind of- We yeah. have, yeah. That, I think that- the, 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 chanting, that, la, the chanting. chanting yeah. I think you kind of, I think you may know this guy, Johan. I do. You, you oh, know, so yeah. oh, maybe, maybe, yeah. I think he's a long time commenter yeah. also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I, the, the one thing is because our office is at the end of a corridor. So that long walk down, I think way back, they never used to leave the lights on for the corridor. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, long time. There was one yeah. time where it was dark, then I was like, fuck, you know, just, just, just walk. I mean, not, maybe just like one or two lights. Now it's still fully lit until late. Uh. 
Yeah. Until late yeah. means that they off it la, eventually. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Well, who, but you can switch it. Uh, you can switch it on yourself. No, la. I don't think so. So it's central one. Yeah, uh, yeah central, central one. Yeah, so yeah. it was quite creepy last time. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hated it. But nothing else that was So yours at the end. Uh. It's like uh, the floor is like L shape and uh. we are like one door away from the last unit. La. So it was at the end. Down all the way. The fire exit? Fire, yeah, fire. Oh, yeah. Fire fire it was scary. Because yeah. Yeah. Uh. We, are, we are the reverse. Golden Mile, right? We were at like the second, uh, the first door. Mm. Then it's all the way at the end. Yeah. Uh, and the security officers, I'm, I'm sure they're trying to do to save electricity. Actually. They're always off. They are but we are always the one that is the last one left. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So so we always come out, wow, the corridor got no light. Then the main- uh, So it's the, pu- just dark. Pure darkness, oh bro. Oh my like, God. I mean, I, I got them to use eventually, la, but like, it's, it's just scary. Like you go out, it will dark on there. Oh shit. Then you're the only one that has lights. Yeah. <laughs> you walk around the V mount battery and the and the light now. Yeah. You know, so I just use my phone la. Then the V mount battery <laughs> fail on <laughs> yeah, 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 battery fail how? <laughs> okay. So I think this one will be quite fun. If you can ask a favor from any spirit, what would the favor be and which spirit? Is it a one off favor or like a recurring favor? Okay, let's just say one off. Yeah. Don't do the like 999. No, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to say if like a flying goes in everywhere, I can just fly every day. Like, but it's Ooh. a one off thing. La. Yeah, it's a one off thing. Can, I mean, you we, can wish it forever, la, but you can only ask for one wish. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Why don't we like favor? limit it to the yeah, experience yeah. that, we've, that we've worked okay, we've written yeah. in our ah, own okay, story? Okay, okay, okay. Like oh, right. actually, it'd yeah. be quite interesting to think about okay, it. Let's okay. Because uh, we had Toyo, we had Mananangal, we had uh, Heartless Horseman, we had Pontianak, we had. Jiangshi, we had Preta, uh, Preta Maya, 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 the Vietnamese water ghost, uh, Ma Pewa, the Myanmar ghost, uh, Buta. Buta, the Indian ghost, and uh, Noperabu, the Japanese ghost. Faceless ghost, eh? Huh. Wow. A favor from one of them. Assuming not the kind of like, like, please go to heaven or hell and speak to my loved ones, kind of. Kind of, uh, they're yeah, on you, earth. Anything, yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. Situate yeah. them on earth, yeah, they can do something you for can, you. Yeah. I think for me it would be like because uh, the Buddha ghost that's coming out in one of the final episodes Indian ghost and I only found out about this when doing research uh, mm. that if, if the Buddha ghost drinks in milk right and you drink the milk the Buddha can possess you jeez so I would probably want to ask his help to possess someone uh. who? <laughs> no he, he already had like a plan I feel like he had <laughs> a plan in mind so I wanted to know I mean there's one thing about oh possess someone you know to so influential in the world to make the world a better place or just possess someone who will be just fucking fun uh, <laughs> yeah. because I don't get to do the possession it is to possess you someone. just watch oh. <laughs> just possess <laughs> <laughs> Are you in? Like, yes, I'm in. <laughs> yes, no, Are you in? Give, give me the authentication code. <laughs> no, okay. So I would like possess maybe one of the Pentagon officials to find out whether they really got aliens there. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you have thought about this. Uh, yeah, he has, clearly, he has thought, thought about it. Because recently also there was that fucking hearing in, with the US Senate about the yeah, existence yeah, of yeah, UFOs. Yeah. You look, huh, is this real? Is this real? So yeah, so, so probably that. Okay, that's my thing. I think mine would be Hitler's horseman. Uh, okay. Because I think, I think it's just, you know, the whole British colonial era, mm. Singapore, mm. We, we, we hear a lot about it in history books, but like, I'm always very curious what those people, you know, the, the, the colonialists and all, how do they feel about life in Singapore? And so even, I mean, not say a favor, but really just to- So you want to do a podcast with him? Podcast la. and- <laughs> Find out what the hell was uh, like life was like life was like here Because it, it, it's crazy. Those days they would uproot from England, take like a boat for months on end, and then come yeah. here and they're like, what the fuck? The weather is so hot, and everything. <laughs> and then suddenly their whole life is like here, and then they they're marrying locals and things. So it's just such a strange, interesting life that, that they all led. Uh, yeah. Mm. So, so I'm not so saying very, it's very, favorite. very academic, uh, very academic. Yeah, I don't. Know, you, you, I was just thinking of all of them. I was like, thinking yeah, maybe you say Pontiana for a date or something, but in the the careful, careful. the the guy energy, uh, wow, the big yeah. dick energy, yeah, yeah, big dick energy. Point, wow. Yeah, careful, not us. Yeah, anybody not listening, us. they say, uh, they yeah, say, yeah, say yeah, oh, you take up for a lovely meal, you know, like I never say anything else, what? But but that's the thing. I think a lot of Southeast Asian ghosts are. Like very uh, female, angry, female centric, right? Mm. Which is something we realized when we were doing our research yeah. and all these things, and yeah. and it's quite, it's quite interesting that why how come you know our culture, mm. you know, our cultures in Southeast Asia perpetuate that so much? Mm. 
like like that every culture seems to have a like female white long head wrong white, yeah wrong to analyze yeah. yeah yeah so it's quite strange yeah, yeah. but but that, that's 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 our answer yeah. Mm, yeah i don't know yeah. maybe asking for favor be too much then they're okay i'm going for you tonight yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why <like, laughs> is that something you ask all your guests no, no, no. It, oh, no. It's, it's, just, it's just questions asked oh, by your fans. I see, I see, so I see. there's another question asked by your fans. Is like, which, which favorite spirit that you, you, which is your favorite spirit in that show? Oh, in the show. Don't tell me the same. Uh. No, 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 not the same. Um, and why? I think, I think for me, like, it would be the no para bo, maybe. But, yeah. mm. Why? Uh? He just seems like a, how you say Because uh, the Nopera ghost is a face, faceless ghost, mm. la, right? Uh, just seems like he'll be a fun guy to hang out with. Uh. Because he's got no face. No, because like, he's just earnest. Like, uh, <laughs> and like feels like, okay, this is a, this is a good guy can hang out with. <laughs> because uh, seems no quite funny also. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> yeah. Correct. Oh, maybe. Mm. I think for me, maybe Jiang Chi. Because it's just, I mean, I, I wrote the episode, but I just feel like the idea of a you know a Chinese person in Singapore, and just understanding the struggle you know of integration and all that that sometimes people oh, have. So academic again. You know, do podcast with Chang Chil also. I mean, I already I already said I wrote the episode, so I there's a lot more I feel about it than, than other characters. So if you ask me, favorite, and, then, and then I think the performance was also very was very earnest from from uh, Xiao Yi la, mm. the, the actor. Mm. He's not someone. He's not someone that we would typically work with in social media and all that, but it was really from the theatre world. Mm. And to see how he took, you know, like honestly, quite the, the kind of jokes that you wouldn't expect from him, that then it came out from his mouth and it's like, wow, this is <laughs> interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, why cannot? Mm. cannot no, cannot, that's cannot. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I, if, if I were to choose, I would choose the Jiang Shu also. Oh, is it? Oh, but yeah. Because I'm a big fan of like the old oh, Jumping yeah, exactly. Vampire yeah, yeah, yeah. movies, oh. right? Then I, I wanted like then I, if I lazy I just sit on his leg and just jump 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 and go mm. like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then the headless okay, horseman okay. Uh, can get on the horse, right? No la, the horse probably rotten right? yeah, the Then he got no head later, ram into yeah. some <laughs> stuff. Get the accident or something. Yeah, get the accident or. Yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah. But I, I, I would, I would second the, the, the idea of like him being on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was yeah. life like? Uh? Yeah, yeah. How's life with spice? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, spice. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Plantation owners. Is yeah. this what everything? was Raffles like? Uh, what, what was, was, what was like? fucker like? It's uh, like, yeah. wow, the manager didn't do anything on uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, can you tell us, okay, this one, no, 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 no more questions already. Moving on, uh, right? No. Can you tell us uh, what is next for Yalabad? And afterlife support, any uh, exciting projects or like exciting guests? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, for afterlife, definitely gonna try for uh, season two or mm. adapting it to another format. Yes, uh, yeah, we're gonna like try to for that. Uh, I mean, Yalabad will chug along. I think mm. okay. I mean, Yalabad we've had during the presidential election. All that was really fun because we yeah. we got to talk to two out of three other candidates. So. Mm. There was, uh, but I think I think podcasts really took the spotlight during yes. this election. Yeah, which, thank you for your service. No, no, not just <laughs> us, not, not just <laughs> us, but, but I feel like everyone who yeah, yeah, yeah. you know had a chance, and then you I really, agree. I felt like we were all doing this service for, I mean, you know, public service where, you know, oh, they can't have physical rallies anymore, but you know, mainstream media won't write certain stories about them. They can go on podcasts and you know have a chance. You get a chance to really hear from them, lah. And I think. Even for me, like this, this presidential election, I realized, oh yeah, we, it is important that that we have this that this platform exists, uh, whether it's ours or anyone else's, uh, right? Mm. So I was very happy to see that podcast get the spotlight uh, during this period, mm. So so if we, I mean, we also want to have more of this kind of like you know uh, really impactful uh, podcast going forward for Yalabad or so. Uh, yeah. yeah. So when it comes to guests, I mean the the weekly ones, we will always touch on the most controversial issues. Yeah. Or polarizing, but guess like what turns it the impactful? Like anytime there's like some geopolitical conflict, right? For example, like what's going on recently, mm. getting people to share thoughts and perspectives to just help people wrap their heads around complex topics, right? Probably going to try and do more of that, mm. And and I mean, there's one thing also that we are focusing a lot more on, which is an offshoot from Yalabad, is mm. this little thing called folklore. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. So so that one is not so much like original content. It is just because we love the audio format so much. 
it's a service that we provide to anyone who wants us to interview their loved ones to create like mm. a personalized podcast. Mm. So that is like in parallel with, with all the content we put out to the world. This is like content that would mean a lot just for a few people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so just going very deep in the audio space. Yeah. Okay. So like uh, in one sentence, how do you sum up Folklory? Uh, if, for, for potential clients. Yeah. So, I mean, Folklory is, is a service where we interview your loved ones or even your teammates and colleagues to capture stories and memories has very personalized podcasts. Mm. And, and as a gift. Now. Yeah, as a gift. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, uh, one question that uh, your fan asked and mm. I think uh, it, w- it, w- it, w- it would yeah, be a good top up to this question is that what is that one, uh, like, I don't say bucket, like that one big person that you want on your podcast? Mm. Wow. Like, it's very hard to get on, can be anyone on earth. Very hard to get, alive, of course. Uh. Yeah, like, uh, individually. Lee Kuan Yew. <laughs> alive, <laughs> la, bro. Alive. No, 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 Unless no, no, there's no. something you're not telling us. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we are on maybe, a horror podcast. Maybe so. he know. Uh. <laughs> oh. No, it's just that I just sort of like making fun of like, you know, a lot of people <laughs> have the answer when, when you ask them about, oh, like who you want to Actually, we had better. someone who said that also on yeah, our podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, mm. no, not shooting on it. It's just that yeah, it's yeah. a very common answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Who? Uh, yeah. Who uh, alive, alive, alive. Can, can be anyone, uh, can not be just Singapore. Anyone. anyone. Oh, don't know, man. Um, just off the top. Who would be someone? Uh... I mean, Ronaldo or Messi at one point was like, it would be awesome to, if they announce that, that he's leaving Manchester United on, on our podcast. <laughs> like, uh, oh, like it would be the, the wow. Piers Morgan. Uh, yeah, the Piers nice, Morgan nice, moment. Nice, right? nice. Piers Morgan would you not, moment. What would you give for that? Man? Yeah. yeah. I think I would say, I don't know why this person came to my, my mind, like Louis C.K. Okay. Uh, okay. Louis C.K. Okay. Just because like, uh, I mean, I used to love him as a comedian. I still mm. think he's a comedic genius. And I know he did some stupid ass shit, but he, he's so much in out of public eye now. And just to understand, hey, like what, what the hell happened? Uh? Like uh, what's going on now? Uh, mm. and, and just, yeah, he came to mind, like he came to mind. Mm. Actually, maybe maybe Larry David, even for- Oh, Larry mm. David. Yeah, you know, a good thing. Larry David. Okay. Over the years, he's just been Hero. quite inspiration. And yeah. everything, he, everything he's like created has influenced a lot of people, you know, yeah. uh, so. Even I mean, the f- I, I I don't think he's the kind that would do a podcast anyway. Like. Yeah, he'd be like, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, yeah. that's, that's why. Yeah. That's why. That's why. Yeah, actually, how much are you gonna pay me? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even think he does it for money or anything. He only do it if it's like very. I mean, maybe like he he friends did, or something. He yeah. did. He did try and sell FTX at one point. Yeah. <laughs> never say was, never, man. Never, never say yeah, never. Never say never. Yeah. Oh, that's that's interesting. So mostly comedians, lah. Like, very still very like in in the comedy. Uh, space ah, uh, because I, you you listen and and watch their. I stuff. guess because yeah. we we I mean we pitch it as a comedy podcast mm. or so and mm. but we want that comedy but coming comes from a place where people also think about things quite deeply la, and yeah so whether it's Louis C K or or Larry David yeah. Uh, work, uh. Wow, this one I, I'm gonna be thinking about it the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry lah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, for for me right, yeah. lowest hanging fruit Stephen King. Uh, oh, Stephen yes, King. Yes. Stephen King. And I want to do it specifically in Maine. Why? Eh? Why? Eh? Because that's where the horror stuff. Oh, okay. But why Why Stephen King? Just because he's like your yeah, hero. He, Not really my hero. I, 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 I watch his movies growing up. I read his book. Not everything. La. Like I can say like, uh, like, like a very minor fan. La. Mm. But just feel like he's, he would be a fun guy to talk to mm. about horror. And I don't think he takes himself that seriously. Mm. Mm. And, and and it's also nice to show that oh, he's not like this guy who hides in his basement and just like, you know, mm. like he's a guy, he's a regular guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, then you? Oh, very similar to his, Junji Ito. Oh yeah, mm. very similar. Just because he seems like the kind of person who can give a very good interview. Mm. Yeah. Um, still playing in horror, um, but also, you know, talkative guy, lighthearted. Mm. And... I'm always fascinated with how horror works in, in comics as well. I see. So he's just top of my head, first one that came to mind. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, oh. Interesting. Yeah. But more, any more, uh, like, after Stephen King, are there others that are also 
in the horror space there very very up your alley also James Wan. Uh, James oh, yeah, James yeah, Wan. That makes sense. Filmmaker lah, James Wan. Oh, from James Wan. From the Malaysia, geographic yeah. link also, right? Yeah, yeah the geographic link, uh, Malaysia. James Wan, definitely. Uh, and I mean, unfortunately, no longer around. If not, I would have uh, wanted the warrants. The warrants. Yeah, you know, like the Conjuring. Oh, it's based okay, on oh, the yeah, warrants. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they yeah, are like yeah, this, yeah. like de- they are demon, de- demonologists, mm. demonologists, oh. yeah, yeah. experts. Demonologist. So they, you know, the occult museum, ah. the one with the the doors, the doors name. Oh, um, Annabelle. Yes. Annabelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that, 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 no. they, uh, they, they keep that. Yes, yes, so yeah. I want to know hey, why, why, why you also sought like, going like do all these things, <laughs> <laughs> keep like an occult museum or like, yeah, all yeah. put all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. See, I was about to add on that, like you know, if I, if I could pick somebody who had already passed on that I wish was still alive, it probably would have been uh, William Friedkin, the guy who directed uh, The Exorcist, the first oh. one. Yeah, but I probably would get like uh, the film reviewer Mark Kamot because he's mm. it's his favorite movie of all time. Is it? So li- really, just sit him down and go talk to me about Exorcist. Mm. But yeah, I I think it's because I watched that show when I was really young, lah. So. Yeah. That's oh, kind of see. it's got yeah. like a lot of childhood like yeah. memories to, <laughs> to <laughs> yeah, this yeah. exorcism yeah. like really shaped your life. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we have talked about this a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we, we've figured out that like you know, if you're a horror creator, chances are somebody made you watch a horror movie when you were really young, yeah. mm. oh. and that kind of just steered you towards that path yeah. as opposed to away from it. Huh? Oh, yeah, weirdly enough, because it's, oh. it's like imprinted on your brain. Like, hmm. Always have that, that um, level of curiosity about it. Mm. Wow. Mm. No oh more, no more fan questions for now, right? No, no, no. Okay, wow. so we're gonna ask you something that we ask okay. all our guests. Nice. Mm. Sure, sure. And bear in mind this question: very broad. Your answers can be very broad. Can be anything, ah? Uh? Can be anything. Sure. Lee Kuan Yew. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Sure. I I Prob- love that. That's oh. your answer because the question Probably. is: what scares you uh. the most? <laughs> the most. What scares you? It can be the anything. Most. Yeah. Our answer is like chichas. It's stupid, uh, yeah. yeah. Drugs. Chicha. Chicha. Oh, lizards. Chicha. House oh, lizards, bro. Oh, lizards. But we've also mm. had people go life. Uh. <laughs> so it can literally be anything. <laughs> oh, so one thing that I that frees the shit out of me. I think it was um like just the idea of being stuck out in the ocean in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I think there's a word for it. There is a, there, I mean, there was a movie, Open Water. Yeah. 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 And I think, it, I don't know whether it was after watching that or even before watching that. This is fear. Then, then like just the thought of like where you are just in the middle of nowhere, like just, just dark as shit. You can't see anything and you're just floating. La. That freaks the shit out of me. Mm. And cockroaches. Mm. But, mm. but which one was? I would say the water thing. Oh. Yeah. So if I want to torture you, I'll put you on a raft filled with cockroaches in the middle of the ocean. La. I think a raft still okay, but floating. Okay, I float you in a sea of cockroaches. That was just, that's <laughs> that's, <laughs> best, that's <laughs> crazy. Like. That is holy shit, uh, man. That, oh, yeah. yeah, that takes a cake for everything. Yeah, I think that yeah. would be one thing that came yeah. to mind. Uh, wow, what, what scares me? Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. Like, just I don't know. Maybe the new cycle that we've been in recently. Mm. This humanity, like, how neighbors can really like really turn on each other and even in my own my own uh, just like my neighbors kind of thing also like they can just you you realize that the people living next to you can can yeah just be like like just be the, the you you can live the ne- next to them for like very 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 long mm. and you still never know that or they can reach those depths of like doing certain things uh, mm. you know without having to explain what exactly it is but it's just yeah, I don't know how like, how people can you know like live next to each other and then like and then do certain things to each other and all. Uh, Would I you think. say that your greatest fear is actually humans? Yeah, yeah. I think the just the the what we are capable of, you know, how much power we have to to harm each other and all that. And like for some reason, you know, in in the last couple hundred years, we've managed to hold it in together, even though we have nuclear bombs and everything, like, right? But <laughs> The more you that every day you're just hearing, it just seems like we're almost losing control of that. Mm. That plot. I don't know if you all watched like Oppenheimer and all this, mm. uh, all that as well. Mm. They had that was a the big existential question, right? Like, you can create the bomb, but like it still needs a human to make a decision to use it, yeah. like, right? So, so it kind of, it kind of, yeah. That everything about that now kind of scares me, like, Yeah, and all the recent news cycle about where well, all the geopolitical conflict and all. 
it's so and it's just yeah it's not, it's not a world where it's so like when we were younger I feel like it was easier to just say oh that's bad that's good that's mm. bad that's good you know now it's like wow where, where to stand you know and, and you don't know whether you're on the right side or so yeah Mm. Sorry, general general rambling. Oh, no, no, but but, but yeah. it got dark. But like it got dark in a way where it makes sense. Yeah, because this yeah. is the world we live in now. Yeah. yeah, it's it's sadly surprising or unsurprising how many of our guests have answered. Yeah, humanity. Yeah, mm. actually, we we should do a poll. We should go. We should go start looking at the answers and then see how many people scale. I I'm pretty humanity, sure that's the yeah, yeah uh. the humanity thing. That's like the main thing. Like even true crime podcast. Yeah, we are scared of humans. Yeah, not ghosts. Humans. Yeah, because the humans, wow, the stuff we're doing to each other, wow, is yeah, cannot. Uh. Even as a ghost, you will probably do an AR right after you die, right? Then you say, like, why did I die? Uh? Mm. Oh, I'm going to talk smack to this guy, and then this guy just shot me in the head. Mm. And then they realize that, oh, I was a shitty human being. Yeah. And now that's why I'm in a ghost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. Even a ghost, you'll be like, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't do that! Don't do that! No! 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 Yeah, yeah. I don't know, mate. Uh, I don't know, just because uh, I've been seeing a lot of videos and, and stuff that people do to each other. No, yeah. yeah. Wow, so it's, it's like, scary. Yeah. You cannot, mm. and now your social media is just in your face, really. Like, you, can't, not, you can't, you can't, you can't hide from it, and then you will. It's like a car accident. You don't want to see it, but you still have to see it, and then you see it, and then you're like, oh, fuck, <laughs> you still want to see it? Why did I yeah. see it? You yeah, know? yeah, but you still want to see it, like, Yeah. 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 Actually, that I, that does make me think of one more question. Like you guys said, like this is all part of your process. All the reading that you do. Yeah. Are yeah. there points in time where you all just go? I need to take a break from it. Oh yeah. Because uh, it has become your job, right? Yeah. yeah. Is, yeah. I think you were any concerns news like 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 what's happening recently, mm. uh, and stuff where it's just. I think there was one the in Singapore too the reveal that there was this the true the true true crime case of this person was murdered many years ago and two guys brought her and burned her and mm. oh, yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah so when you body. read that you're like oh f- fuck maybe it's because also growing up in Singapore where you're not used to these kind of things happening yeah. even though they probably have been happening for a long time yep. but now so front and center that's when you're like oh shit yeah so that's when I feel like yeah it gets to me like yeah maybe in some ways that's why we don't do a lot of, like almost child abuse or yeah. the, the domestic helper abuse kind of yeah. thing because it's like too close huh? yeah yeah. it's just like wow it's so dark and like how is there a yalla butt to the whole thing can you yeah. take any contrarian view to whatever was done here it's just mm. it feels like you're yeah, facing evil in the eye right yeah, yeah, very yeah. True. so it's like then at the point you're like do we really want to talk about this yeah, mm. yeah. Is, yeah. that, is that the yeah something the general like feel right? and I mean yeah. I think maybe not like uh, certain times when you're like of course that the the gruesome horrific stuff it can get to you but yeah. sometimes just when you read about the way people act they might not be doing mm. anything criminal but just the way they act the way they treat other people legally mm. it still leaves you with a bad taste la. like why are people like that right yeah and of course like when you look at like politics or stuff like that sometimes you're like eh, but really uh, how, how can how can they almost feel justified in doing that and all the people around them think it's also fair so that's the more subtle kind of like oh how can people act that way mm. uh, of course yeah like the horrific the one very explicitly that is messed up there's the more in I wouldn't say insidious but the more subtle kind of, where mm. you're like wow mm. no, I, huh. get, I get what you're saying yeah it's like people think that it's justified to act this way, right? Or yeah. treat a certain group of individuals that, that way. way and yeah. then you're like, oh, allow you, why like that? Yeah. yeah. And then and sometimes like, when you look at maybe the people around you or even yourself and you're like, oh shit, I have done that before as well. Mm. And then you're like, oh, it's so easy to go down that, that path of like mm. not being a good person. Yeah. And it's not something yeah. you can just sort of, oh, I don't think about it. Because my, my kid has reached an age where he under, when I say something, he can parrot it. Then he'll be asked, "Why must you like that?" Mm. And then you have to sort. Of, okay, how do I explain this kind of thing? And then in that mm. process of thinking, how do I, you know, explain why this person is is this behavior? Or why we don't talk to this person anymore? Then, mm. then you got to like, wow, how to, you know, how do you explain this like, You know, like that why this person did this to this person, or we we don't talk to that person anymore, and all that kind of thing. Mm. And then it gets very wow, very heavy. Very heavy, but but strange conversation you have to have with like three year old kid, lah. You know, mm. yeah. Mm. But and don't you think that it's like like a, a, a talking to a, a child, like a three year old kid, it's almost like talking to that new character that has not seen anything, like a noob in the in the game, ah, like a noob, mm. like oh, you have not seen anything, mm. you haven't seen the end game. Correct, we are near yeah. the end game already. Yeah, uh, let me tell you what's gonna go. Yeah, but, but we were like that. Correct, correct. Yeah, we were like that. But but 
so that's the beauty of like uh, being a, a parent I think and, and that's something uh, I think uh, yeah is is the you, you, when when you become parent then you like sort of understand ah okay mm. but I would say our generation uh, we, we've, we we all treat parenthood differently from like older oh yeah definitely yeah. for them like a lot of the education a lot of the uh, you know, moral, social values, all that were left more to like school and authorities or, you know, nannies or whatever. Mm. Whereas I think now our whole generation of parents or would, there's a lot more thought that you have to be like the mm. one that to tell your kid not to do this and why you need to do that and all that. And, and so I think we are all learning on the go as well how to communicate these things because a lot of us never got that kind of thing from yeah. the, pre- the, the the older generation. And it's not their fault. It's not their fault. They're not yeah. bad. It's just that time, their, their time, it wasn't a thing to, and they didn't have the resources to to do that. But now, yeah, we've got everything. Uh, we've got the internet, the yeah. world at your fingertips. So how can you, you know that there's an answer to whatever he's asking and how you can't just like, oh, don't, don't ask about it. You yeah, know? exactly. There's no excuse to like, have somebody else do it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Hmm. So it's a, it's a stressful, uh, I mean, Okay lah, stress, but also as a parent, that's the challenge lah, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful challenge lah. It's definitely a beautiful challenge because you're leaving an imprint now in hopes mm. that your child will make the world a better place, right? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the hope lah. That's, that's the hope, that's the hope lah. Yeah. La. Yeah. La. Nobody knows lah, nobody so knows lah, right? Just bombing that's each yeah. other every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but, I, but yeah lah, humans are scary. Yeah. So you know, like with any other true kind, I guess like, true kind podcasters or podcasters who, you know, talk about politics or daily stuff, you do get desensitized and you, you are afraid of humans at the end. And mm-hmm. actually as a horror podcaster, I am also afraid of humans. Yeah. I go out at night, you know, if I go buy something, I think I'll be more afraid of getting stabbed uh, than like a hantu. Like, Ooh, even in Singapore, like yeah. in Singapore, you yeah, feel in Singapore, I, I mean, really, it, yeah. I feel like Singapore is getting, is getting dangerous, uh, mm-hmm. right? You yeah, see yeah. the recent rise in yeah. crimes and mm-hmm. weird crimes, you're like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, I feel people are much more stressed, and so they, yeah, they, they snap. They, they snap, snap or, yeah. or they they yeah, they do it to people around them and all. Yeah. And that's where it's like, wow, it's yeah. like how how do we get to this point? Uh? So so do you, we all say that you all are feeling less optimistic about humans in general. Wow, see me ducks, yeah. But okay, yes, I am less optimistic. But less optimistic than when? as in in the sense like okay, when you look towards the future, you only see like things getting worse. Yeah, I was just telling Wayne about this just now before recording. I was saying that, you know, I never imagined this. I'm a relatively young millennial. I'm only in my, I only hit 30 this year. So the older I get, the more redneck I am. In that sense whereby <laughs> I just, I'm genuinely thinking of doing doomsday prepping. No, oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I oh, feel like, shit. I feel like World War Three is going to happen. Uh-huh. I think in some ways it's, it's already happened. It's yes, I mean, yeah. 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 in some, in some ways. Really, yeah. And I feel like also people are on the edge of their seat. Yeah. They are losing it. Mm. Partly because of social media. Mm. Mm. Pas- partly because of misinformation. Mm. So mm. I think, yeah, you never say never. Man. Oh, <laughs> there serious, will come man. a day where you like- I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's a, I mean, Yuval Noel Harar, uh, Harari, Harari yeah. and the, author of uh, Homo Sapiens, right? Yeah. You know, the very- oh, Sapiens, Sapiens. Sapiens, Sapiens, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good book, right? Yeah, I, book, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's been going on a lot of podcasts saying how AI is the next is human very event. scary. It's la. the it's next evolution scary. of human. La. And it's not artificial intelligence, it's alien intelligence. Yeah. You know, they're doing things in a way that we cannot comprehend yeah. and understand or repeat ourselves. La. And isn't that what basically alien life is, la, right? Yep. It's mm-hmm. an advanced civilization doing all this. And I think he, he really points out something uh, that, you know, uh, at the end of the day, now we are so like, oh, you know, when you have a problem, then you email something, then someone rep- emails you saying, oh, hi, I'm John from this company and I mm. got your name. And you know, there's a fucking like AI or yeah. a bot speaking. Of it. And he says like, we are totally under prepping ourselves for the fact that one day these systems will get so good and you really can't tell the difference between that and a mm. real human. And then, our entire history of civil humankind was built on trust. You know, our banking yeah. system is built on trust, knowing that you're talking to a human who is generally trustworthy. You're talking to somebody who generally won't fuck you over and all that kind of thing, right? So how, why are we allowing AI to like literally just break that trust every day by little mm. bit by bit, just pretending to be a human amongst us, pretending to talk to us, pretending to make us feel like our, we are being hurt. Uh. And he says like, that's really something that needs to stop, uh, like where, where we don't like, 
let uh, AI get to the point where it, it's in amongst us already yeah. and it's so embedded in us, it's in our banking services, blah, blah. I mean, banking services, like, you know, <laughs> you saw what happened over the weekend, uh, relying on other digital services. And he says, we can't let it get so embedded in our culture that we say, oh, we can't turn around and, and take them out already. Mm. And he said, we're at that point where they, it's almost like we are just opening the doors and letting the alien intelligence yeah. in. Uh. So, so would you say you also are less optimistic about humans? No, I think that's where we we have a chance to, we can make a choice about it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And yeah, I think I we civilizations rise and fall, which is part of what his story mm. is, right? And now we are at this point where we can make a decision and use AI to make us, you know, even more amazing or whatever, right? Yeah. But if we choose to to let it like break the trust between us, misinformation, mm. all these kind of things, then 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 it's stupid. Lah. But I would say in general, we have developed the technology, mm. right? And we uh, humans in general have always been improving. Life now is a lot better than it was a thousand years ago. Yeah. So why would you be, you know, less optimistic lah, generally? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So so I think I think the interesting thing, yeah, he can take the really cosmic view of of civilization, which is yeah. which is interesting. That's yeah. why the book Sapiens, huh? Sapiens. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's a great book. Yeah. 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 So on a lighter note, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, we did end on a lighter note. Yeah, there, is, yeah. there is hope there. Yeah, there, yeah. there is hope, uh, and and yeah, like, I guess uh, I think sometimes ghost stories may be scarier, but I think the truth is scarier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so on a lighter note, where can we find you guys online? <laughs> <laughs> what is the point? Okay, the world is gonna end. All right, what's the point? At least listen to yeah. afterlife support to prepare yourself for the afterlife. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, can can find us um, at Ministry of Funny uh, on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok uh, at Yalabat, uh, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Our own handles. Uh, um, teacher. Teacher yeah. and Harish Tilani. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Uh, I mean, Afterlife Support. Oh yeah, Afterlife is, Support is on Spotify and all uh, podcast platforms. And uh, yeah, the Folklory. Mm. Is our, folklory is the name of our business, lah. Yeah, we're like folklore, uh, but folklory with mm, a Y. Yeah. So folklory dot com. Everything in the description. Yeah. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So now we'll do the closing. Okay, All right, let's me, go in. Let me, let me do my newsreader voice. Yeah, he, oh, okay, okay. <coughs> he, 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 he's very good at it. Mm. New episodes of Ghost Maps go online every second and fourth Thursday of the month on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and all major platforms. New episodes of Dead Air go online every 13th of the month. To make sure you never miss an episode of either, subscribe now and follow us on social media at We Are Hantu. That's one word, W-E-A-R-E-H-A-N-T-U. If you would like to share your own stories that could inspire future episodes of Ghost Maps, you can reach us through the contact form on hantu.sg or message us directly through Facebook and Instagram. You can also be one of our supporters on Patreon at patreon.com slash weahantu. And one, one two, two, three. three. And, and remember, remember, just because, because they're their stories, it doesn't, doesn't mean they're, mean they're not true. true. Good night. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks, Thanks for having so us. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. If you want to stay up to date on Hantu, and listen to our other podcasts like Ghost Maps, subscribe now and follow us on social media. You can also be one of our supporters on Patreon. Look for We Are Hantu or click the links in the description. Dead Air is a Hantu production, hosted by Kai Ong and Win Ray, with album art by Jolin Lim and recorded on Audio Technica mics. <laughs>